What? Tell everybody what today is. Mommy's birthday. Mommy's birthday. Okay, let's go do some fun birthday surprise stuff in the yard. Come on, let's go. Let's go pick some flowers. They say it's mom's birthday. What's that? You wanna go pick them? Okay, let's go pick flowers. Donuts too. No, Eva, they're the, no, no, not those. Not those. We've got these. Ooh. Here we go. Now we got some. So everybody, today is June 26th. It is Lindsay's 34th Fourth. birthday. It's kind of Lennon to know that. So the kids have decided that they wanted to pick some flowers out of the yard. We've got awesome rose bushes. We've got, honestly, I don't know my flowers. I just know roses. But we have other flowers. All right, let's go pick them. Careful, don't, don't, don't touch the thorns. What thorns? Ava, look, I found a sick flower for you. Ooh, these ones are awesome. Ooh, that's a good one. Are there still thorns on it? Yeah, just a little bit. I love this one. That oh, one. that one's beautiful. Giant one. Daddy, I want this one. That's so beautiful. Ooh, okay. Hold it, but right Is this here. Yours? There's Eva's, thorns on that. That one's for you. I'm gonna put a flower in my hair and get it beautiful. You, you, you ready for hair, one girl? in your hair? Yeah. Your mama's gonna love it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, so Ava picked some. Turbo over here would like to go ride his bike to the yeah. store and grab some for mommy, which is very cute. We've got Ashy. And he's holding some of Landon's and then Landon has picked these little ones. So this is what the kids have put together from the flowers in our yard. Good job, Ashton. You want to get her what? Reese is outrageous. We just get her a random bag that says happy birthday. Ooh, what about one of these? Ready, set, go, I'm four. Yippee, Yippee I'm three. three. All right, what do we got, sir? Okay, flowers okay, and flowers. half Hershey's half. World's Reese. greatest son right here. This is not. Oh, there it goes. You know, this little turn here decided to give his own efforts to charity. Sweet little boy. Some kids would think that $2, give it a $2. A lot of it is a lot of money. So thank you for donating to charity. That's very sweet of you. Annabelle, come on. Come on. All right, guys, go over by the table. <laughs> Flowers from our backyard. No way. All you kids jump up and say, Mom, which one you picked. I picked. <laughs> You got these? So Turin actually wanted to go to Walmart and, and bought his own bouquet of flowers and, I and a candy bar. You did well, I don't know which one I picked. I picked that one. Oh, that's adorable. You bought me flowers. Oh. All right, so Ashley, which one did you pick? This one. That one. And I picked that one. Ava picked these right here, the far pink one right here. Yep. Lennon picked these little ornaments here. What would you call those? No. Adornments. He picked. The orange one and the red one. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Dad picked the white one. I love that you guys picked them yourselves. Oh my gosh, this is the sweetest thing. So cute. Birthday cinnamon rolls. Ooh, birthday like, girl. Turin. Turin. Birthday breakfast and a good old fashioned paper football. Oh, and who's this kid? Landon. And who's that girl? Oh, Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo. Oh my gosh, that's really big. Hey guys, we maybe go to the lake today. Hey guys, we are not going to the lake. This kid doesn't know what he's talking about. We are going to do chores. Don't listen to my brother. See you there. I'm gonna jump in and I like jumping in. Oh yeah.
Uh, she just got his school pictures taken. Mom was out of town the first time we took him, so we had to do retakes today because they didn't have haircuts, and he is looking so dang handsome. And we just saw what they looked like, and it was like, oh my goodness. And thank goodness, hands don't show because he's been coloring himself in stamps today. <laughs> High five, nailed it. There's the birthday boy himself, just reading books to Ava, sporting his brand new white jeans. <laughs> <laughs> He's never worn white jeans before. He's rocking them, that's I'm for sure. Them. Yeah. Did it for you, babe. Are you watering mama's plants? Yes. Doing such a good job. Do you want to do some on that purple one too? You're such a good helper. Almost done. Almost done. Do you want to put a little bit on that top one? Good job. Good morning. It is Justin's birthday today. It's going to be a great day. This morning is not turning out how I was hoping that it would. All I want to do today is just have fun and celebrate Justin. And it's just a very real life day today. We started off the morning with picture retakes for Ashton and Landon first thing in the morning at the school because I was out of town when they had school pictures. We were in Miami and they didn't have haircuts so we ended up having to redo those. Those fell on today. Everything's falling on today. Cute Ashton had an ear infection a couple weeks ago that we got taken care of but it has not gone away. The antibiotic did not work. So I had to squeeze in a doctor's appointment today so I am here at the school picking him up. Right afterwards we're gonna get Landon all the way down to his physical therapy which is not close by for his first full day of physical therapy today. It's the beginning of his three weeks where he goes four hours a day, five days a week for three weeks. So we're gonna get him there and my sweet sister-in-law Mindy offered to take the girls to music so that I can stop in and bring Justin some birthday balloons and lunch because I am telling you, there is not a minute today, and it's just so frustrating. It's making me crazy. I'm gonna bring him some lunch, which is gonna be awesome. <sighs> and you'll fall asleep if I tell you the rest of our plans, so we'll leave it at that for now. Okay, we are at the doctor for a round two appointment today because this poor little guy has been having some ear pain, and the last time we came to the doctor, we knew he had an ear infection, he gave us an antibiotic, and it's just not getting better. So we're here to see if his ear is still infected, hoping that we can get something to help this guy finally feel better. Have you guys noticed my haircut? <laughs> Smash the like button if you are loving this handsome boy's haircut. <laughs> <laughs> There's this fall festival at our school. Uh -huh. <laughs> we have nice stinky feet. Uh. Nando, are you excited for your first full day? Yeah. Are you gonna be so awesome? <laughs> yeah, the eval was boring. No, the eval was awesome because we got to see all your your tricks, right? Yeah. I'm excited for you. Day one. Yep, day one. Happy birthday, Dad. Day one. Yep, it's his birthday. Dad. I'm gonna go take Dad some lunch, and then I'll come back and pick you up later. Okay? Oh my gosh, this is the cold here. <laughs> I found my birthday boy. Look at this, you guys. My wife brought me my favorite chicken sandwich. Buffalo fries, and you can't go without a little sangria. The best part is honestly that I just get to see him on his birthday for a minute because he's so dang busy that he had to pencil me in. Just teasing. Honestly, I kind of want to make this like more of a, a weekly tradition. It's just so fun to come. This might be the first time we've ever had lunch in our office. I know, I'm kind of loving yeah. it. It's kind of fun. Let's eat. <laughs> How was therapy today? It was good. Did you work hard? Yeah. Did you have fun? What kind of cookie is your favorite? M&M &M one. What about you, Ash? I am really excited to try your Oreo. Me too. Dad's favorite dessert of all time is cookies, right? So we came to Crumble. We are on our way to Turin's soccer game. And so we're going to sing happy birthday. Cousins are coming tonight. Brennan and Mindy's family are coming to support Turin, which is so kind of them. So we are going to sing happy birthday to Justin with a whole bunch of Crumble cookies. Yay! Yay! Happy birthday to you! There's my girl. Hey, dude. We brought a few cookies for you. Ooh! Party box. Secret to my heart. Oh, shut the front door. Is that pumpkin? Oh my goodness. Happy birthday. Thank you, honey. Oh, Look hi. who's Is here. Today a special day? No. So it's somebody who loves I'm just cookies. hungry. You're 36. You're 37. Uh, somebody who, who loves donuts and sugar. <laughs> He's Seriously, not. a big fan of pizza. Brandon, I'm a little bit disappointed because I thought the very first thing that you would comment on. Who's awesome, Pink Hitty? 
the Thai white pants. <laughs> I literally said I cannot wait for Brandon to see you tonight. He actually hasn't said no, anything. I, don't, I didn't. I, I thought it was like a special birthday outfit. <laughs> Aunt Mindy to the rescue here, bringing us dinner on the fly. Little Caesars for the win. How is it, Ray Gay? <laughs> Best pizza you've ever had? <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Justin. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Make a wish. Oh my gosh, he ate fire. He's a fire eater. <laughs> Happy birthday! Wow. Thank you for being born. These cookies look amazing. <laughs> Such a rad guy. You are the cutest cousin ever. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> This girl right here. Do you ever just Hello. have a person in your life where you're like, what would I do without you? I called her, maybe, and a little bit of tears this morning. <laughs> just a little bit. The day was starting off really rough and I was a little frustrated and a lot of things happening. I just was, yeah. She just made it all better. She did these things that she calls are small, but they were huge to me. It made it so that I could go to lunch and celebrate Justin's birthday and... <laughs> Get in here, it's a mini sandwich. <laughs> you guys are talking about my birthday, right? Yeah. It's your birthday? <laughs> Wait, today? <laughs> Shoot. Anyway, no, but sometimes it? you feel like it's asking a lot of someone, but people are happy to serve you. And I just let people serve you. It makes them feel happy. It made me feel happy today. She literally picked up Ashton from the doctor's office and took him back to school because I had to get to Provo and I had no way to get him back. And she did it like so happily, so sweetly. She seriously, it's like, it's like honestly the kindness of others sometimes turns your complete mood around. It like changed my whole day. So I'm responsible for your good day. She's totally responsible. And then she picked up dinner because I didn't have time between now I can and the game. And then she brought You're a candle a and a lighter. Mama. Honestly, you We're guys, in the thick of it. find yourself a person <laughs> like this. We're each other's person. <laughs> anyway, and then they came and supported Turn in his soccer game. We love you. Love you. Oh, Coach wow. Dad over here. <laughs> Coaching on his birthday. Yeah, well Jackson, you have perfected the triple cartwheel. Let's see it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> you are amazing. Will you teach me how to do that someday? Or do you think I'm too old? I Maybe. Can do it, but I pull a muscle every time. Mindy, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> triple, triple cartwheels. <laughs> We've got an injury. My birthday kiss. I'm ready, go. <laughs> we have not been together like this all day. Today was one of those days where I felt like we were all pulled in a million different directions and all we wanted to do was be with the birthday boy and he spent his birthday coaching football, watching football, watching soccer, and and all the working kids, super hard. And all the kids said happy birthday to him. They did. That was so cute. Turns entire football team actually saying happy birthday to me. Okay, you guys, who do we love today? Daddy! Only today. Me! We love this guy. He's the best of the best of the best. I got to dance with Ava, May, and Mom. Yes. 
I didn't get to dance with Dad. Guys, I got crumble cookies twice today. You got like once two from my boxes. company and once from Sweet Lindsay over here. And I got a Little Caesars pizza from Brandon and Mindy, a wonderful card. Guys, I would not have wanted to spend my birthday any other way than being a dad and a husband. I mean, I'm 36, right? I don't need any parties. And Mom took you out to lunch. Sweet Lindsay brought me lunch, which we need to do more often. But honestly, I don't think I would want to spend it any other way than just being a dad, being a husband, running around in my kids' games, <laughs> coaching them, watching them play, cheering them on. So honestly, today was a perfect birthday. Well, we wanted to party more than that, so we're planning on we, doing that on Friday. We will, we will have a little party this weekend, maybe, just our little family. Lindsay and I have a little special something that she has been wanting to do for a couple of years now, which we're going to do. What is Zion's it? Zion's was a good birthday celebration. Yeah, Zion was, was a great birthday say. celebration, what but I want to celebrate with you guys. We can't tell them, Ashton. Lindsay, what did Turn say about my outfit today? Oh, he turns to me and he no. goes, Mom, Shush, Mom, are you digging Dad's outfit or what? He's like, I gotta get, I, what did you say to her? Just say it. I said, I gotta get some of that stuff. I gotta get, <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm dressing as hipster as my 11 year old. I don't know if that's a compliment. I want it too. You want this it This is one too, thing so. you don't know about Justin. He used to wear a killer white jumpsuit and he turned was little and he came home from work one day and turn, turns to him and he goes, dad, I didn't know you did karate. <laughs> that was the last time I wore that out. <laughs> <laughs> It was a LeBron James white jumpsuit. It was sweet. And then the reality set in and turned thought I was in karate when I wore it. Thank you for watching. If you have not yet, please subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. Hey, check out Lindsay's Instagram and her blog. She has wonderful posts that are there. She's trying to get more up, trying to find the time to do it. Our Instagram has got some great, uh, wonderful, inspirational posts that Lindsay puts out there that are outside of our YouTube channel. Thank you. We, uh, we love you. We appreciate you. And have a good night. Yeah. We are Good morning everyone, happy Thursday. We are counting down one day until these guys' birthday. We started off the morning in the most incredible way actually because today we got to take our cute little Turin to the temple for the first time. So that was an incredibly special experience for Justin and I to be able to take him. It is a morning that I will never forget. My eyes were teary the whole morning. He is just such a precious little boy and it was just so awesome to be there together. He's not a boy anymore though. That was what was so crazy He's about him. Up. He's so sweet. Ashley and Landon were at school and Ava went to dance so we were able to do that. Well now we switched places because Turin had to go back to school. The twins get out halfway through today and now Ava's over playing at Hazel's. So we've been playing musical chairs, running everybody everywhere today. But and it's just the four of us now. Isn't it somebody's birthday coming up soon? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> somebody's birthday here fairly soon? Oh, I even have to say, sorry, one other thing that was cool this morning is that these guys got to talk to Papa and Grandma in Ukraine and they were teasing them that they thought their birthday was in July and that they were turning 13. And then Papa said- I don't said, think it's in July though, isn't it? Papa said like, Jerry. Oh, January. Jerry. Oh my January. gosh, they were laughing so hard. It's January. May 31st, right? It was so fun to hear their voices no, and the A twins were just giggling. No, it's January uh, 29th, right? No. Oh, no, no. February 29th is um, Kimball's birthday. Kimball's oh, yeah, Kimball. Oh, it's February 11th. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's February 11th, right? <laughs> so I asked these guys to change out of their school clothes because I thought it would be really fun to <gasps> go visit Dad's work. It's January 17th. It's tomorrow. <laughs> you did that, you little... <laughs> so I asked Ashton and Landon earlier this week, I said, hey guys, what do you think? Should we do a birthday party with friends this year? Or do you think maybe we could just have a special day with mom and dad? Just you guys and mom and dad. And they both immediately said a day with mom and dad, which made my heart so happy. Do you guys want to go have that special day? Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, what if, we, uh, what if we told you we were going to go to Park City and uh, stay in a hotel with a hot tub on the balcony? We're going right now. What if I was going to tell you that? What the heck? We're going right now. Just what the heck? Us. Yay! Two part city. I, I saw you. Yay. I was like, okay, this is something that's happening right now. Because I was like, are we actually going to Dad's work? Because he came home and I knew he was not working from home oh. today. Well, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> And then I heard you like all just talking about this random stuff and then I'm like, okay, it's not this So you were on to something. Yes. What do you think, pal? Does that sound like a good birthday present? Yeah! We're it going. sounds really good. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We're gonna go to the new park resort. Just the four of us. 
Just the four of us. They've got a hot tub on the balcony. We're gonna go out to eat. We're gonna go to a movie. We're gonna go to the outlets. We're gonna do whatever you guys wanna do. Yeah. How's that sound? It will be, yeah! It will be, yeah! Our birthday. We are gonna you be guys are going to wake up in our hotel on your on birthday. On your birthday. So boys, happy no. birthday. You know what's so funny too is Ashton goes, no wonder you're dressed. My kids always ask me where are we going every time that I get dressed. Is that like <laughs> hashtag mom in her pajamas all the time? Hashtag I don't know. mom life. Hashtag mom life. This is huge. Oh wow, a lot bigger than what we were expecting, huh? What? This even has a fridge. What? Guys, this is quite the room, huh? And we even have How do you open this thing? How do you open this thing? You're trying to get outside. <laughs> what do you think? We're gonna look for the hot tub. Hot tub's right there. Can you believe yes. it? That's so sketchy, though. It's not sketchy. What's well, sketchy? Being up high? Yeah. What's so Here? cool is you can see everything from the balcony. Yeah, can we, can we go? Can we get into our Sure, go for it. I'm gonna give a tour of the room here real quick. Mr. Ashy oh, getting oh, in. Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> you getting your suit on land? Oh, that's hot. It's kind of hot. We can turn the temperature down. We are literally sitting in this hot tub in freezing cold weather, looking out at all of this beautiful view. Look who we found. Lando's coming in. Now it's a party. It is hot. We turned it down. Are you gonna face the other way the whole time so we just you don't have to talk to us? There you go. There he is. I wanna go underwater on that so I can see how long I can. I can barely fit in this hot tub. It's a little long. Here, look. There's my foot. Meow. <laughs> You're pretty long too, dude. Look at this landing in the sun. I'm so hot. Yeah. We're asking, what was your favorite part about being eight? Probably learning how to surf. Learning how to surf? That's a great answer, actually. Ashley, what about you? What was your favorite part about being eight? Bear Lake. That's your favorite trip. What was your favorite part about being eight? Um, like, what are some cool things you did as an eight-year-old? Just being so smart and so handsome. <laughs> you learned how to surf too. That's true. I learned how to wakeboard, kind of. That's right. You got up on the wakeboard, didn't you? Oh my gosh! Yeah. Kind of. Yes. You learned how to body surf on top of me. <laughs> yeah, we were like, yeah, <laughs> oh no, we're just gonna go in the water. <laughs> This is your last day to be eight for the rest of your entire existence. What are you gonna do? So we are currently in the process of trying to decide where to eat. And so when I ask these boys to say on the count of three what they want, they each say something different. One of the challenges and beauties of having twins. So it's either pizza or Mexican or burgers and Chinese. There is really no common theme. So we are undecided, but we are gonna find a place to eat. On the count of three, I want you to say what you want for food. Are you ready? One, two, three. Pizza! <laughs> I don't think they enjoyed it. You'd be wrong. Guys, we are off to go see a movie. Where are we going, Lando? Go see Dr. Doolittle. Dr. Doolittle. Sorry, I'm running out of breath. Let's <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> It's surprisingly pretty warm tonight, isn't it? Yeah. So you guys, maybe you can't see this, but clear up there, those lights on the mountain, that is where they had some Olympic events here back in 2000 and I think the 2000 actually when the Winter Olympics were here in Utah. So we were off to go see Dr. Doolittle with Robert Downey Jr. It was either that or Star Wars. We figured Star Wars might be a little bit too old for the kiddos. Yeah, we said just hide on Dr. Doolittle. We just finished up 
a delicious dinner at Maxwell where Landon pounded a pizza. I got a pretty darn good Philly cheesesteak. I felt like it, in fact, I actually felt like it was a really good Philly cheesesteak. Would you agree? Yeah, it actually was pretty good. And then now we are going to fill up on treats at the movie theater and enjoy ourselves a nice relaxing movie before we go back to our hotel. And these guys want to jump in the hot tub, of course, before they go to bed. Well guys, we arrived 30 minutes early to the movie, but I do see an arcade. What do you think? Should we see what games they have in here? Oh, bummer, out of order. Actually, the ones that I wanted to do are out of order. That one just looks scary. Well, arcade, no good games. So we're a little early. Movie fans. We'll probably finish our snacks before the movie actually starts. Well, the important part is we've got snacks, right, Lando? Yes, we have snacks. What do you have, by the way? Cookie dough bites. Cookie dough bites and popcorn. That sounds delicious. All right, guys, what's the consensus here? What do we think of that? Like your favorite? It's just favorite. Do you feel like you guys talk to animals sometimes? Yeah. Ashton, do you feel like you can understand what Annabelle says sometimes? Yeah. No, here, do you really though? Do you think you can talk to Annabelle? Maybe. Maybe. So guys, we made the mistake of feeling like we could walk to the movie theater, because truth be told, it's only a parking lot away. Yeah, we made the wrong choice, <laughs> didn't we? <laughs> I don't know how mom handled it. Always an adventure here at the Bingham household. Why? Because first of all, we thought it was not gonna snow like this. <laughs> and we thought it was really close, and Dad's like, it's really close, and Mom's like, it is close. It's right there. See, we're close. We're making it, guys. Oh my goodness, Lando, are you cold yet? No. See, I don't think it was snowing. I think it was snow being blown off the top of the roof. No, that's not true. You don't think so? No. Oh no, it's snowing a little bit. Yeah. Definitely, it's snowing a little bit. Guess what? What? I just reached my step goal. Oh, did you hear that? Landon reached his step goal, everybody. 2,000 steps. steps and you hit it? Yeah. Ooh, fire. Oh, yeah. Boys, well, what are we doing next? Hot tub and it up. Hot tub and it up. If you were to rate this birthday on a scale from 1 to 10, what is it so far? Uh, 10. A 10? Lando? A nine. A nine? All right, well, we got another day. Let me introduce you to the fun people, because the boring people are inside, right? Mm -hmm. This is the fun party, because we are in the hot tub, super late at night, and it is freezing outside, and the wind is blowing snow everywhere. So we're having to keep everything under the water, including our shoulders. <laughs> So we don't freeze, huh? I have really not. I like a little bit of coding. This is so fun. I'm so glad we got to do this just to spend some time with Ashley and Landon all by themselves. I'm not even getting to hang out with just Ashley right now. It's just two hours left of being eight years old. Can you believe that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Technically, you turn nine at 10.30 tomorrow morning. I think you were born around 10.30 in the morning. One minute before Lando. That means I'm on condition. I get celebrated first, one minute before he does. <laughs> first. It's your birthday first I need to for a whole minute. I need to open it for me first. You know what that means though? What? It means that he gets to be celebrated one minute longer at the end of the day. Your birthday oh. will end one minute earlier too. <laughs> you guys will get one minute to yourselves on your birthday. I think that's fair. <laughs> one minute to ourselves. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Late night partiers are here. It's hot, extra good when it's just freezing outside. Jeez, it has color lights? Yeah, they change colors. Lana, are you gonna get in? No. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I would just get in those Ooh, feel that snow. <laughs> you probably can't see it on this camera in the dark, but we can see the stars so clearly. Oh, here comes a gust of snow again. Oh, that's so cold. <laughs> so glad I'm not skiing at it the moment. It feels so that would good. Be crazy. You think it feels good? It's like a sprinkle of snow. When it goes away, we can see the stars so clearly, so pretty. And the mountains and all the city lights. We're pretty much in heaven out here, huh, Ash? Ash, he's just telling me all the things he loves about me. <laughs> no. He's on number 82. I told him one more. We got to go to bed. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Would you consider us the party animals because we're in here watching Sports Center or Mom and Ashton because they're in the hot tub? Us. 
Really? Yeah. See, I think they're probably more party animals than we are right now because they are in the hot tub in the cold winter air. And you and I are just chilling in here. Yeah. I'd say they're probably party animals. <laughs> All right, Ash, are you brave enough to get out? Feels like it's the polar bear plunge, but all we're doing is running back into the room. You know what the polar bear plunge is? No. It's when people jump into like a lake in the middle of winter. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Kind of feels like it, don't you think? Uh -huh. All right, you ready for this? You can do it. Three, two, one. Oh my God. <laughs> Where's the door handle? <laughs> Okay, we survived our polar bear plunge getting out of that hot tub. <laughs> and now we are gonna go to bed and wake up. And Shoot these guys a are birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Which has been so fun, day one, just with Ashley and Landon. Oh my goodness, I love, love, love this precious time we're getting with them. Guys, we don't ever really get to do this. This never. is kind of the first time I think we've ever taken our kids away for their birthday. So it's honestly, I think we might need to make this a tradition for each of our kids. It's been fun. It's been so fun. I asked them in the elevator if they could rate this birthday on a scale from one to 10, and Ashley gave it a 10, Landon gave it a nine. So I think it's been pretty good. <laughs> Hopefully we can make that a 10 by tomorrow. Ashley's already got plans to go to the gas station to get slime liquor. That's all he wants for Which his birthday. We don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's like, it's like a, something that you lick and it's like juice. Hey guys, what are we doing tomorrow? Birthday. Birthday. Well, I know what you're birthday. Birthday. Outlets. But what are we doing though? Outlets. 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 I'm so excited. Are we shopping? It? Are we shopping for anything in particular? Oh, shoes. Shoes, shoes, shoes. Oh my shoes, gosh, gosh, you love shoes. shoes. You have so many shoes. shoes. Lana, what about you? Uh, clothes. If you get shoes, are you gonna get mismatching colors is the question. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Lots of birthday treats, lots of birthday shopping, maybe a few balloons, I don't know, maybe some slime liquor. And probably some treats. So come back tomorrow to see what we do with these cute 20s. And by the end of the day, we are going to end their birthday with Ava and Turin because they want to celebrate you guys too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, say goodbye to eight years old. Goodbye, eight years old. <laughs> see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I just have to give a shout out to all of you single moms because Justin went out of town for a few days then he came home and he's been super, super sick. So I've been running the show for a few days and I just, my hat's off to all of you because it's a ton of work. So I got up this morning and I made everybody breakfast, got breakfast down to the basement where Ashton and Justin have been hanging out, keeping all the germs downstairs. We brought them stuff so they could shower down there. <laughs> I'm so glad they have each other because they've just been having a little sick party down there and I don't feel as bad that they are all alone. So we did breakfast. I actually snuck away to go to the gym because Turin is here to hold down the fort upstairs. I have been loving my workouts lately and I can't always say that. Do you ever go through phases where you're like, okay, I'm doing this because it's good for me and then other times where you're just loving it. I'm just loving it lately. I usually go to the gym and do some cardio and then I love, love, love to lift weights. That's probably my favorite thing to do. So got to go do that. I'm back and everybody's hungry again. Turbo actually has already done a bunch of chores. He went outside and cleaned up all of Annabelle's surprises on the grass because the snow's starting to melt. So we're finding a lot that maybe got buried underneath the snow. I also have to give a little shout out to Turin because yesterday Landon was a little bit nervous after school Ashton was homesick, as you all know, and Turin went home with a friend. And I think Landon is used to having at least one brother there, if not both brothers, most of the time. And for some reason, his watch was not working. So he was trying to call me and it, I was answering it and I couldn't hear him, then I'd call him back and he'd answer it and I couldn't hear him, it was the craziest thing. So he was in the office crying because he was just feeling nervous. I was on my way and I was stuck in the, in the carpool line, but he was nervous. And apparently one of Turin's friends called him and told him that Landon was in the office crying. So Turin called me all worried and said, mom, I heard Landon was crying in the office, is he okay? And I thought that was so thoughtful and sweet of him to be so concerned about Landon and checking on him. Landon was totally fine. We picked him up, he was all good, but I thought it was such a sweet little thing of his big brother. So I said yesterday when I closed the vlog that I was going to take advantage of a quiet Saturday where we're stuck at home and get a few projects done. So I'm going to put the kids on a project that they don't know about yet. Turns giving me a look like, what? Okay. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, come over here. I'm gonna show you guys. This one? It's better than picking up Annabelle's dog poop. That's for sure. Okay, this 
is what our game closet currently looks like. And it's making me crazy. So I'm going to put the kids in charge of pulling out the games and getting all the pieces put in the correct boxes. And we are going to go through and get rid of games we don't play with and reorganize it because it's that closet that when you open the doors, it just all falls out. And uh, we are gonna clean that up. I'm really excited because there's nothing that makes a mom happier than a clean house. Who's excited about this job? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is that a no? I think Ava might be excited. Turin's for sure not excited. <laughs> So Turin is pulling out all of the games. Ava and Landon are going to grab a piece uh, that's laying around and put it on top of the box. And then when we finish putting all the pieces on top of the boxes, we'll put them inside. Then we have to figure out which of these games we don't really play. We've also got puzzles. We've got things from when they were little that we could probably pass down to someone else that we aren't using anymore because they're all getting so big. Okay, if you're wondering why I have braids in, it's because I'm deep conditioning my hair. And I started deep conditioning Miss Ava's hair and put her hair in braids. And completely forgot that she's going on a special <gasps> date tonight. Yay! Where are you gonna go? We're going to dinner and get her yes. <gasps> oh my goodness, can you believe it? You're gonna help me, huh, Ava? Be so brave. I've got one then, and now we need to get that one. Because she's kind of nervous, so she, she thought she would bring you because you were so brave last time? Yes. Do you think you could hold her hand and help her to be brave? Are you gonna help me she's kind of nervous. I'm really nervous. And I know how much you've always loved my clip-on earrings, huh? Do you remember always wearing my clip-on earrings when you were little? Yes, that's right. You would always would beg to wear Brittany's clip-on earrings. I just wear my clip-on earrings. So I thought it'd be so fun to go get real earrings with you now. Are you? Oh, the, the clippy ones. Yeah, remember the clippy ones? <laughs> Do you remember those before you had your ears pierced? You're gonna have so much fun! Oh my goodness, girl party. Who are you going to pick up next? Huh? Who are you gonna go pick up next? Hazy. You're gonna take the bus over to Hazy's bus stop and pick her up? Huh? <laughs> you wanna come and, and get my ears pierced with me, Turbo? Yeah, it's It's because you don't have any experience in the ear piercing department. Sorry, buddy, it's just kind of a girl's day out. Neither does Jared. <laughs> yeah, but he's married to her, so that's part of his he duty. He doesn't have a choice. Right, Jared? Mm -hmm. You gonna hold her hand? Oh, yeah. Did you find some good food in my house? I don't think I have any. I was gonna say, buddy. Yeah, I was kinda hoping to finish that before you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just wondering where you found it because I haven't found any good food lately. Well, I saw Landon eating some. <laughs> yeah, that's what he, he showed me you got like these cheese roll, cheese roll bread thingies. Oh, yes, help yourself because they're... I already did. Are you even going to miss me? Oh. Every time Brittany comes, you're just like, see ya, mom. <laughs> and that's such a good thing because you're so lucky to have her. Huh? <laughs> you're so lucky. I thought she was unlucky. <gasps> Oh, and you wonder why you weren't invited. Hey, have fun here, turn. <laughs> we'll just be cleaning out the game closet. Don't. <laughs> okay, as you can see, the game closet has gotten a complete facelift. We are not done though because we still have all sorts of treasures all over the ground. Yippee. But we are getting there, even though it looks worse than when we started. <laughs> I will say, we have successfully found a home for all of the missing pieces that were everywhere. So that's a start. Got rid of a few games that we never play, some puzzles that had a million missing pieces. I'm probably gonna do the rest by myself because I'm really grateful for their help, but it's been a little bit of a tedious project that it's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Been working on some laundry. Ava is so excited. I don't think I warned her today that they were coming. I think I told her yesterday, and so we both had kind of forgotten, and they knocked on the door, and she walked up and was like, what are you doing here? And like jumped into Brittany's arms. She is so excited, I cannot wait. Their video will come out before ours, so if you haven't already, you've gotta go check out that video. Brittany getting her ears pierced with cute little Ava and Hazy by her side. How sweet is that? Seriously, the cutest aunt and uncle ever. So here's the deal, the twins' birthday. As you saw, we celebrated with them last weekend. And we got Ashton an electric skateboard that he's been asking for. And it's been sitting in our house for the last week. However, we have gone back and forth over a thousand ideas for Landon and have been struggling with what to get him for his birthday. We thought it would be fun to give him their presents at their family birthday party, which now we're not having tomorrow. We're postponing that, which is so sad. I'm so sad about that. But I really don't feel like we should have people over when we have this 
ton of sickness in our house. So Turn and I are on a mission to go get Landon some birthday presents. He really, 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 really wants, he's gone through so many ideas. He wants a sleepy bag. He wants cool Nike shoes. He wants cool Van shoes. He wants a Rayella Salt Lake jacket. He wants a double shot. Well, he finally narrowed it down after a lot of thinking. Oh, way too much. <laughs> we would ask him, what's your first pick? And he'd like put them in order and then, and then I'd ask him and he'd put it in the exact opposite order so we had no clue. <laughs> so then I gave him some time to think and he came back and he said, I really want some Nike Air 270s. Air Max. Air Max 270s like Turin and a double shot. Unfortunately, a double shot I can't get in the store. I was hoping I could get everything accomplished tonight. So we're going to order one of those in the store. We could really use a new double shot. We have a double shot in the basement, but it's the electric part of it that keeps the score, it doesn't work anymore. And honestly, we have gotten so much use out of it. The kids love it. It is probably the most used thing in our basement, but we could really use a new one. And Landon is super into basketball right now, so I think he's going to love, love, love that. We may not be able to find 270s. They're a little tricky to find, but Justin said he's going to love anything that Turin picks out. So I've got my secret weapon, Big Brother Turin, and we are on a mission. We don't have a ton of time before stores close. Sign Landon. The coolest shoes out there. And these are going to be shoes that do not go over his braces. He's actually only supposed to wear his braces until he gets home from school. And then he can take them off and wear normal shoes. And that's what these shoes are gonna be for. I know that all I've been talking about the last three days is how foggy it is, but Turin. Oh my gosh, no. When we were driving on the road, I actually thought we were gonna get in a wreck because you couldn't see anything. So I can't see you right now, are you there? <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> but seriously, could barely see the lines on the roads and the cars in front of us. A little scary, but we made it. We are headed in to Nike. Turn, these are a killer deal. Any idea why? Uh, because it says Air Max in neon green all over it. <laughs> Turin just informed me that these are the exclusive. I think Christmas. I don't know if they're exclusive, but they're like Air Jordans. And then I told him that Christmas is over, buddy. I don't even know if they're exclusive. <laughs> they're sick. You're trying them on for Landon, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we found these shoes that are majorly on sale. Turin says they are sick. I think that I officially am an old mom because I can't wrap my head around these shoes. I don't think that they're very good looking. I think they look like space shoes, but Turin is telling me that they're cute. I think they're sweet. And we just ran into our cute neighbor and his prom date, and they both said that they're cute. So I'm going mom with lost. their opinion. Yeah, I lost, I lost. Going with their opinion over mine, I said, would these be cute in third grade? And they said, oh yeah. If he shows up with those in third grade. <laughs> what did he say? He'd be balling. <laughs> so Taylor, and your prom date. If this is a fail, it's all your fault. Karen's just trying on a jacket for Fernando over here. Jacket's legit. I actually really love it. It's sweet. Okay, we're back out in the foggy mist. Trying to figure out where we're going. Where are we, Turin? Thanks. I can't see where we're going. <laughs> Turin doesn't think I'm very funny, but I think I'm really funny. Jared and Britt are coming to pick, or drop off Miss Ava to us. And Brittany was just telling me, oh, there they are again, oh my God. How was it? Was Brittany so brave? Look at her earrings. Did she even cry? We have to check out her beautiful oh, earrings. Yes. Look at my beautiful earrings. <gasps> oh my goodness. Are they like a pinkish? So they're gold. I don't know. Ooh. Oh yeah. Yeah. They look so good. Oh my god. Not even a what tear? Ava, come here. Come tell your mom. Tell her how you helped that little girl before me. Was the little girl crying because she was really scared and then you said, what did you tell her? I tell her. It just hurts a little bit, huh? She stopped crying. That was so <laughs> nice. And she's gone. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're the best ever. Thank you so much for yes. taking it. It was so dinner. fun. We went to macaroni grill. <gasps> oh and my I gosh. Got to draw on the table and have so much fun. Oh my gosh, their bread is like today. Let me see, was so good. Yeah, what do you think, Turbo? Doesn't she look so pretty? <laughs> 30 year old series. <laughs> they really look so pretty. Me and then all these little <laughs> tiny did it hurt? <laughs> lined up. Lined up and they're all watching me. So I had to be super brave. Huh? No. It honestly is just like a She was little crying. <laughs> but Jared's gonna edit that part out. Yeah, so nobody knows. Out. Yeah. It was pretty sad. Like even little girls were like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miss Hazy. Hello. How are you? Good. 
<laughs> hey, what do you tell her? Huge, huge thank you. Thank you. No, huge thank you. Like as big as you can. Thank you, huge, oh huge. My goodness. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. I got this oh <laughs> my goodness, you are so kitty. I had to give them a little present for helping oh, me. Oh, a little it. present or a big present? Or just, <laughs> they got to pick something oh out. Oh my goodness. Where was Aunt Brady when I was a little girl? <laughs> Oh, you ha you can share one, I think. <laughs> okay, we decided to come by Vans because Landon has a couple pairs of Nikes and he has always, always wanted a pair of Vans because his brothers have Vans and he doesn't have Vans. And I told him if he wears them after school when he doesn't have his braces on, that he could have a pair of Vans. He wants checkered Vans. There's like eight different colors to choose from, so we're trying to decide. Oh my goodness, are these nail polishes and nail files <gasps> and makeup, like eyeshadows Lipstick. and lip, oh my goodness. You are so lucky. Okay, classic me. I bought a blue kind and a charcoal and black kind because I couldn't decide and I wasn't sure which one he wanted. So he's gonna get to choose between two and then I get to do a return, classic me. <laughs> but I'm feeling good that we went with Vans because I think he really, really wants some I think he's been feeling kind of sad and left out, but he hasn't ever had any. For those of you who are new here, Landon wears orthotic braces, and we have to find him shoes that are pretty particular. They have to be a tennis shoe. The bottom part of it has to be very even. You have to take the soles out of it. It has to be big, a bigger size so the brace can fit inside of it. If the sole is uneven, like sometimes the back is like this, then he'll be walking like this, and that's not good. So anyway, he's been feeling kind of left out because he usually has to pick out shoes that fit with his braces, but I got thinking about it. He's supposed to spend a portion of his day not wearing braces at all, so he's gonna be excited to be joining the Vans Club for his first ever pair of Vans shoes. Are you clapping? <laughs> Can't tell if he's making fun of me, if he's happy for Landon. Which one is it? <laughs> first one. Making fun of me? That's what he's best at these days. We just stopped and got Mr. Turbo. What'd we get you, buddy? This W. His very favorite kind of burger is a bacon burger. So he got a bacon burger and a lemonade and some fries at 9.30 at night. Because that's how we roll on a Saturday night, except for me. I don't know how you just always eat healthy stuff. <laughs> it's because when you aren't 11 anymore, you can't eat cheeseburgers and fries all the time. If you miss seeing Justin on the other side of this camera, raise your hand. As I do. He is still down in the basement. Tomorrow I'm hoping he's gonna wake up and miraculously feel so much better. I'm sorry that it's been so much of me. <laughs> Come back tomorrow. I don't know what we're gonna do because we were supposed to be having a birthday party, but we're gonna do something. It's gonna be an awesome day tomorrow. I just know it. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us today. See you guys. All right, everybody. Hello, hello. So we are gonna scramble to get ready for the twins and turns combined family birthday party. So I'm gonna walk you through some special gifts that I need to set up in the basement for tomorrow's festivities, which I cannot let them see just yet. But then we're gonna hit up Costco. We're gonna do a birthday Costco haul because we're gonna do a nacho bar. We're gonna have duck donuts. We're doing donuts for dessert. We are doing guacamole chip. It's gonna be a fiesta tomorrow because it's the Super Bowl. So we've got a lot of house cleaning to do because the house gets a little bit dirty. As you can see, we've got just a couple remnants from parties and hanging out and just laying out here. We're gonna employ the help of all of our children to get this house ready, spick, span, and clean for a birthday party celebration for one of these guys, Turin Bingham himself, hello everybody. Ashton Bingham, hello, hello. And someone who looks exactly like Ashton, Landon, which we don't entirely know where he is right now. Anyway, so jam-packed birthday preparations are in full effect, here we go. Look at this, we've got the birthday boys themselves helping clean up the house. Look at these guys, high fives. Boom, Landito. Oh, hang on here. There you go. Ava, are you going to help clean? Yes, you are. Let's go, come on. Total mayhem. 
Ooh, let's see if I can snag that spot, if that guy's gonna get it. Oh, tire center parking only, huh? Well, that's just not gonna work. I've never had to park all the way back here. This is insane. All right, I am here at Costco. We have divided and conquered. Well, we haven't conquered yet, but we are conquering the preparation for this party. Lindsay is off to Zerker's to go get some party favors, some party games, things like that. And I have been given the wonderful task of hitting Costco on a Saturday. Guys, Costco on a Saturday is insane, especially here in Utah. Closes at six o'clock, it is 527. I have a goal to get out of there within the next 30 minutes. Now, this is probably the busiest time at Costco, but I think I can do it. I'm in there to get, oh man, I don't even know what I'm gonna get. Oh, I have to check my phone. Carne asada, because we're doing nachos and they're gonna be amazing. Power greens, dog food, cilantro lime cream dressing, avocados, Mexican shredded cheese, and olives. That is my challenge to myself and my commitment to you guys that I will be in and out of here in the next 30 minutes. But let's go check on Lindsay to see how she is getting along doing Zerker party favor shopping. I headed to Zerker to get party decor, balloons, and all the fun stuff. Okay, I've got some balloons being blown up in each of their ages. It's one of my favorite things to do. I don't know if they love it as much as I do, but I love to take a picture of them with the age that they've turned. So I've got a nine for Ashton, a nine for Landon, and a 12 for Turin. We're gonna decorate with those balloons. We also got some little football balloons. We got some plates, some cups, and then we got some fun little things for some games we're gonna play. Touchdown party sleeves and some squishy footballs. You'll have to wait till tomorrow to see what we're gonna do with those. We needed some Oreos and a tablecloth for another game. We love some good competition at our house and we love some ridiculously silly games. If you have not seen Ava's birthday party, you'll have to go over to This Is Howie Bingham and check out Ava's birthday party, family birthday party, where we were throwing Cheetos at Ryler and Turin's shaving cream, hair netted heads. I don't even know how else to explain it. You'll have to go over there and check it out. Super funny. I would have legitimately taken up Lindsay on Zerker's versus the Costco because it is crazy this time of night at Costco, especially this day of the week. So I'm starting to see why Lindsay uh, said, hey, go to Costco, it'll be easy. Just being in this party store is making me so excited for Valentine's Day coming up. All of the cute stuff. We're actually gonna be leaving for Las Vegas that day, so probably can't get my party on in the Valentine's department as much as I want to, but super cute stuff. I think I need those lips balloons for Valentine's Day. Hint, hint, Justin. <laughs> All right, I am almost halfway through my shopping list, fending the crowns, but I think I actually might be able to make it out in time. Missing a couple more ingredients. Some things that are gonna be tough to find, like the cilantro lime dressing. Not entirely sure where that is, but I think I can figure it out. We decided it would be fun to pick up some duck donuts for their birthday dessert, so I also picked up some of these candles, the one and the two for 12, and then some nines, so that we can sing happy birthday to them. Found some cute Super Bowl cups. We're gonna get all their favorite drinks. It's gonna be a party. One bad thing about coming the night before the Super Bowl is that everything is quite picked over, but I did find some cute stuff I'm really excited about. Mission accomplished, people. Fifty-four. I did it with six minutes to spare actually and I'm pretty sure I got everything I had to triple check because I am notorious for going to the store and then not actually coming back with the things that were actually on the list so the one thing I did not get was Mexican cheese because I didn't need a Costco size of Mexican cheese. So I still have to go to Walmart to get that. But all in all, I feel like this is pretty successful. So the reason that Lindsay and I have divided and conquered this evening is because we're actually in a hurry 
to go out on a date. You gotta take those opportunities when they come. So we're going out on a date with the Pages and the Grovers. So you might recognize those names because we spent Martin Luther King weekend with them at the Pages infamous cabin. So if you've actually not seen those videos, go check those out uh, above. So anyway, Lindsay and I are in a hurry to get back home and get all of this finished before we actually go out on a date. But I still have one major thing left to do for tonight, and that is to put together the twins' gifts. Honestly, I feel like it's kind of like Christmas Eve. I gotta put together some gifts because tomorrow we are going to celebrate them in the basement where they're gonna try out some new toys that they have been waiting for and asking for for their birthday. Just carrying about a thousand balloons, hoping I can get these home without them all popping. Oh, heaven help me. taken me longer than I want to admit to, but I got all the balloons in the car, headed home to meet up with Justin and get this party set up for. All right, we are back from having dinner with the Pages and Grovers. Absolute blast as always. Totally love those couples, but the evening is not over for Lindsay and I. Again, we have to divide and conquer. So I am gonna put together this new double shot, and here it is. Let's give you a little glimpse of this thing here. All right and is going to be replacing this double shot. Now, if you don't know the story here, the electronics on this thing went out a little while back and you see that goes all the way through. So, in reality, this double shot works fine from a hoop perspective, but it doesn't keep any score. So, and really that's kind of the main point of the actual game itself, is keeping the score. Plus we've had it for probably seven years. So it's time to retire it and get a new one. So I'm gonna put this thing together in preparation for the big day tomorrow, and then Lindsay is gonna head to Walmart to get some last minute preparations before tomorrow. So here we go. Okay, this project is proving to uh, be a little bit more time intensive than I was anticipating, but here's the progress so far. So it's way more heavy duty than this old one over here. See those skinny bars over there? So. Much nicer quality, however, taking me a long time. Success! You guys, this thing took way longer than anticipated, but it is done, and I think the twins are gonna love it. It's way more sturdy, it has adjustable height, so adults can lift it up, kids can drop it down. We did it. And we'll see you guys tomorrow at the party. See you later. It's a great day for somebody's birthday. They say it's your birthday, so happy birthday to ya. It is Turbo's birthday today. We woke up Ashton and Landon, Justin woke up Ashton and Landon, and we got them off to school, and this guy got to sleep in on his birthday. I had to convince Mr. Responsible to miss school today to go shopping because all he wants for his birthday are some clothes. And so, hello, that would be so much fun to go shopping together. He still yeah. is being Mr. Responsible though because we're gonna take him back to school at 1.30 so he can take his science test. We'll see. Well, I have to take it because science is really hard for me, so. What he means is it's he has a struggle to get an A instead of a B. He's used to no, I have a struggle A's. to get an A instead of a C. <laughs> so, We'll see because I'm gonna try to convince him to just not go today, but. So our kids generally will skip if their birthday falls on a school day, we allow them to skip. So as you guys know, the twins skip their school day and Mr. Turbo today gets to skip his. And then we're gonna celebrate with the whole family after school. After school, Ashley yes. and Landon were not thrilled they had to go to school today. <laughs> so I gave Turin a bunch of options. We've got Tilly's, we've got Dick's Sporting Goods, we've got Shields. We've got Nike, Nike, H&M, and, &M. and he said, how many can we go to? I said, as many as we, as we have time for. It depends on that dang science test. 
So we're gonna head out to the outlet. We're going to, he, his, by his request, we're gonna go get a pretzel because it's like one of his favorite things to do when we're shopping is to get a pretzel and then we'll go to lunch. And then later today he wants to do a jumping place. It's his favorite thing to do. So it's gonna be a full day of fun. Mm -hmm. And we started it off in the best way possible by practicing oh my for perms. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, you guys look at his hair. Oh, yeah. He did it again. I went upstairs and they were curling it with a curling iron. <laughs> we have to practice. We don't want to get a perm and not know what it's going to look like. <laughs> so yesterday I was texting Turin while he was at school, Mama Beer over here, and telling him that I wanted to go shopping to pick out the clothes because he kind of had some things in mind he wanted to get for clothes. I said, let's go shopping. It will be fun. I said, we'll, we'll go to lunch. We'll hold hands. We'll record TikToks together. We'll watch shows. TikTok on I was the clock. I was honestly just trying to get a rise out of him, but the next thing I know he says, why don't we just shop online? <laughs> so, this generation, you guys. I know that you. Oh, there she is. I know that you really want to see Turn and I record a TikTok together. In no, fact, I even found a gift that has a mom son yes, I know. dancing together. Tur, you guys he doesn't have, think I'm very funny. Tur, you guys have to do a TikTok together. <laughs> Yes, they're doing a TikTok today. No. For my birthday, not his. It yeah, will we'll ruin his birthday, account. but it will make my no, birthday. No, our gift to you is a TikTok with mom. <laughs> Why aren't you gonna do I that? I can't dance. Neither can I. I don't do the dance. Oh, you're a great dancer. I'm a terrible Oh, Ava, dancer. you can dance? Let's see here. <laughs> so you're gonna be in the TikTok too? <laughs> here we go. Oh, those are cool. Still space shoes. They're still sick. <laughs> I, I, I'd get them for them. I love that on your birthday, you're looking for Ashy. Okay, I know it's Turin's birthday, but we're finding all sorts of shoes for Ashton and Landon. Remember when we came to the Nike store a couple weeks ago looking for Landon for shoes and we found nothing, like nothing but space shoes. <laughs> finding all the cutest shoes now. And I haven't given Landon his shoes yet because I realized after I bought Landon's that I had a big gift for each of them and then shoes for Landon, so I needed to get shoes for Ashton. So I probably will get some of those today. But all the shoes appeared, all the good shoes appeared. I'm so excited, there's so many options now. So we've got these, and then we've got Giannis's, which Turin thinks Ashton will freak out about. I really like them. And it's a player from the Milwaukee Bucks, which is always winning in my book. Because for those of you who don't know, I am from Wisconsin. H&M because Turin wants some plain colored hoodies. No, and he wants funny a pink that, colored hoodie like his dad. What's awesome is Justin legitimately has the exact same sweatshirt, sweatshirt hoodie and he didn't even realize it. You also have wanted a couple of dad's hats, so apparently dad has decent style if Turin's trying to dress like him. If you're a 12 year old boy, I've got decent style apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a compliment. It's better than a 30, when it comes to shoes, how old are you? 36 year old man style. When it comes to your shoe style though, that's a different story. <laughs> this is true. Turin does not like dad's shoe style at all. I tried to buy him cool shoes for Christmas and he's like, oh those God. look like space. Yeah, I might as well have just been an alien had you bought them. <laughs> it's true, Turin was trying to spend a ton of his own money to get Justin really cool shoes and he didn't like any of them. <laughs> I'm a plain Jane here, guys. Turin wanted to skip breakfast so that he could stop at Auntie Ann's for a pretzel. A boy after my own heart. I love pretzels too. This is the Turin special, the bites with the garlic parmesan. Mm -hmm. So good. Justin's just over here trying to figure out how to get a free pretzel next time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is your combination. Okay, they don't have pink or black in an extra small, but we're going to try on the white. Make sure it fits, and then we can order it. Shopping in the men's section, this might be a first. Don't mess up the perm. I think it's good. I mean, it's a little big, but I think once it shrinks, it'll be fine. Dad found us an extra small and black. Why is this one so small? It is smaller. Yeah. We've got some matching swimsuits in the house. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Okay, we got some good shopping done at the outlet. Well, all that Turin wants for his birthday present is to go shopping. So we're getting to spoil him today. It has been so fun. And we came to his very favorite food for lunch, which happens to be one of our favorite foods. So it's a total win. What is your favorite food? Sushi. Sushi. And mine is sushi too. And Ava loves sushi now too, huh? So we're getting- Sometimes I love um, soup. 
miso soup. soup. Yeah. So we're getting a whole bunch of rolls to share, our favorite way to do sushi. I just don't want today to end. It's been so fun having him home from work, celebrating Turbo, home from school. And I even four and a half more hours, baby. And we even got him to skip his science test. Davis got her California roll. Is it so yummy? And we're waiting on a few more rolls for us. Yummy. Which one's this? Sweetheart. Ooh. Let's see what you think. That's way really good. Quite the birthday spread here, Turbo. Dig in. You're doing a good job with those chopsticks. Uh-oh, we might need a new one. <laughs> All right, Terry, what's your fortune on your birthday? You display the wonderful traits of charm and courtesy. Charm and courtesy. Agreed 100%. Okay, Ava, let's read yours. Oh, hold on. There's a four, there's a four cheese. Oh, yeah. Here. All decisions you make today will be most fortunate. Huh? All the decisions you make today will you... On my birthday. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. Mine says you are soon going to change your present line of work. No. Uh, I, I hope you, not. I can assure you that is false. <laughs> <laughs> the current year will bring you much happiness. Nice. Well, we all got our fortunes. We all got good ones, but me. <laughs> Somehow this morning it got decided that I was the chauffeur to these three kids in the back. Are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> Ava said she wanted to sit by me. <laughs> so he's been doing it on every trip. I love it. Okay, delicious, delicious lunch. And we are headed to a store called Tilly's. And we don't have super close to us, but it's a store that we love. We actually went there in California recently. Gonna go do a little more shopping for Mr. Turin before we head home, pick up Ashy and Landon, <laughs> celebrate some more. Hold this arm. You twist out, and twist back in. <laughs> okay, we just finished up at Tilly's and Turin found two t-shirts that are so cute. One long sleeve, one short sleeve. I think we're having some good shopping success. You tried on? <laughs> found some sour gummies, which is always a good idea. I think we're going to head to Zara for pants because we found some jeans here. They're cute. We like them. But the ones at Zara are a little more slim fitting, which we like. So next stop, Zara. Shopping spree continued. Turin showing Ashi and Landon all the stuff he got and they are so excited for him. And then this is the stuff that mom and dad got. Oh, oh and I got this. Did you show him your jeans and from Zara? Which one, which one? Uh, green, red. And you got your hair cold. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like his hair? <laughs> we just had to show you the shoes I've been wearing all day. I mentioned these last night. I bought these shoes only because they say Turin on them. It was when he was a little baby and I really haven't worn them very much. I lost a bet last night so Turin got to choose my shoes. So I wore them all day shopping today and they're killing my feet. I think they're maybe not broken in or something. So I'm changing my shoes but I had to document I held my end of the bet and I loved wearing my Turin shoes on Turin's birthday. Okay, all Turin wanted to do tonight was come back to our jumping place. It's his favorite place. We were here just a few days ago. Justin kept saying, are you sure you want to go again? And what's so fun is it's super dark with neon strobe lights. This is gonna be extra fun tonight. If you can hear in the background, we've got Mariah Carey playing. She was one of my favorites. Always has been, always will be. This makes me sound old, but I love her.
Okay, we're going to dinner tonight at a place that our kids, I don't think I've ever been. If they have, it's been many years, so they don't remember it. Turin has no idea what's coming. Texas Roadhouse. And I'm pretty sure they make you sit on like a wooden horse to sing to you. <laughs> no, he gets, to, he, to, he, he gets to sit on a saddle. Party, here we come. Ooh, it looks good. Oh, that's the best chicken tenders. Lando got some steak bites and mashed potatoes. Turbo got the steak and mashed potatoes. Ava's eating the salad with me. You're going around the house waking everybody up right now, you little sneaker bug. You want to know why? Why? Because it's your birthday! Yeah. It's my birthday. <laughs> So mom has whipped together a pretty impressive breakfast here this morning for Miss Ava. All of her favorites. So last year Ava had the most beautiful girly pancakes you've ever seen in your life. Rainbow, unicorn, magical, everything. Well we found this fun Betty pancake mix. Never seen it before. Perfect for Ava, but we've got all the toppings, the marshmallows, the sprinkles, all the girly stuff. And apparently strawberry Hershey syrup. Because, okay, Ava requested for breakfast pancakes eggs, chocolate milk, which I thought she's gonna love strawberry. I don't know, she, she's tried mixing that kind. And hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> which we had to tell her that you can't really, I mean, hot dogs for breakfast might not be the yummiest thing in the whole world. However, we're having hot dogs for dinner. Just for Ava. Here's the birthday girl right now. Hey, no secrets. I think she looks like she's a little bit older today. She looks more like a five-year-old than a four-year-old. What I love is with every passing day, your bed head gets better and better, <laughs> Ava. Did you know that somebody sent these cookies to you? Someone from our YouTube family sent them to you all the way from Canada. And I think there's a message that goes with it too. Oh my gosh, these cookies are so beautiful. <gasps> Look, it says Princess Ava. What? This is so kind. Okay, what, what does the message, message say? The message says, Happy birthday, Ava, from Peter in Canada. <gasps> Whoa! Thank you. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Peter from Canada. This is so kind and generous of you to send Ava these cookies and they are amazing. All right guys, we are in full party preparation mode. Let's show you what we've done real quick here. So, pretty similar to yesterday's setup. However, Lindsay had it. Some nice aesthetics to the outside. So quickly though, today's the family celebration. So all family, both on Lindsay's side and my side, are coming over to celebrate Sweet Ava's birthday. So let's show you what we got here. We found out we actually don't have to return this till tomorrow, which is amazing, so it's added bonus. We'll probably play in that over there. So we added a mermaid tail to the backyard. Still got our nice little balloon arch over here. Still major preparations going on here. So Ava asked for hot dogs, specifically something called J-Dogs, which is a restaurant here in Utah that serves really good hot dogs because it has what they call special sauce. So I'm gonna grill up some hot dogs with some special sauce on them. We've got again this amazing cake and we got some mermaid tails to eat. So hopefully y'all like seafood. All right, we got the crew showing up here. We got Brandon from... Uh, hey guys, it's me. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Dork. We got Hazy, we got Brexy in the house. We got Ash Bash. We got Ryan, guys. 
We got Grandma Adams. We got Turbo. We got oh, Papa Bingham. What's up, dude? How you doing, buddy? I love you. Oh, Look at this, yeah. dude. Yo, that's all Lindsay. You're like the Play King, right? It's all Lindsay here. So we've got the briquettes brewing over here to make some hot dogs. Inside we got the ladies, Miss Lindsay hard at work. You Mom. Hardly working. Grandma. This is Mana Joe, hardly working. <laughs> we got Mindy, hey, hard at work. work, and wait for it. Wait for wait it. Wait for it. Wait for it. There's Mindy. <laughs> we got Landito over there with his swim trunks on, ready to go. All right, we got more family here. Oh. We got Jared and Britt. <laughs> 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 There's the other half. We got Steph and McKay are here joining the party. Neighbors' hot dogs are coming along. All right, we got Uncle Sean in the house. Hey guys. What's up, everybody? <laughs> guys, this table is coming along so amazing. Oh. We have two mermaids at the back of the table here. All right, everyone inside. Oh, hello, birthday girl. Cuz, girl, we're gonna eat some hot dogs. Ava's requested meal. Everyone in, everyone in. Come on, we gotta say prayers. Hi. Do you guys wanna get a picture with me since you subscribed to my account? Uh, no. That's so cute. Why would we want to do that? Who are you again? And I really the fun part. You can totally see it. So pretty. He just looks like this young. And look at these pants. I had to cinch him up on it. So, guys, this here is Jared. He's lost some weight. Jared, take your shirt off real quick. Stop. Oh, that is. <laughs> no, have you really lost weight? Yeah. How much? Uh, like almost 30 pounds. Oh my gosh, people, do you hear? 30 pounds. <laughs> We've got a pasta salad from Aunt Stephanie. Strawberry salad from Mana Joe. We've got chips and dips from Brit, Aunt Brittany. We've got this fruit platter from Aunt Mindy. Oh my goodness, everything looks so yummy. Got some J Dogs with all the toppings. This is the special sauce right there. And of course, we've got some seawater to drink. Actual birthday today. Yes. So, I think. Lizzie, what do you think? Happy birthday, Ava! 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 Does it hurt? <laughs> As you can see, Landon is fully back to himself today. And we're super happy about that. <laughs> you are crazy! <laughs> Go Betsy! Go for it! Send it! <laughs> you guys just having a cookie together? Yeah. 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 Woo oh my gosh, I just got me to do that. Baby! Go, baby, go! Yeah. Okay, so the birthday girl has requested that we do some presents. She's actually been requesting presents since about 7.30 this morning. We've been holding her off long. Okay, just a second. 
No, 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 not yet, girl, not yet, not yet. Not yet. She's so excited she actually wants to do that without us. Show them how it matches, show them. Ava, your presents match your suit. What the heck? <gasps> You're a real mermaid now. We are gathered here for Miss Ava, and Ava's been waiting very, very long to open presents, so. Wait, water. Oh my god, this is where my water ended up. I did not mean to do that. Okay, Miss Ava, this is from Aunt Jared and Uncle Brittany. <laughs> right. uh, Uncle Jared and Aunt Brittany. Look how cute this bag is. Whatever it is, it's not yellow. Oh, oh my god. A mermaid Chelsea. Oh yeah. <laughs> this rapid oh fire here. Oh my gosh, Ava, look what at all this. Look at Mary Poppins bag. Wow. <laughs> Ava, what do you do? Go give hugs. Ava, do you love it? It's going to be hard with your mermaid tail, actually. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. I want him. You should have New guy. Oh, dummy. You don't have to share it. Sometimes they're sleeping and I might find them. Oh, I love you. I thought you really What about you hugging the whole Bingham family here? Oh, Papa and Grandma, you guys are next? Yeah, we're okay, next. So, Whoa, Ava. Ava. Do you know that in the bottom of the ocean where you see mermaids? Under guess the what? Mermaids. They have buried treasure. Treasure. And we got one. Did they you want found to see buried it? treasure? We got a buried treasure oh. under the ocean. Now, right where the mermaids were, oh, this is what we got. So, do you know what these are? Okay, so uh, money. you know how you're going to stand up? You're going to go with Mana and with Papa, and we're going to take your little very good and we're going to go spend it. Okay? Oh and you can get God. anything you want. Okay? So Grandma and Papa Adams gave her this for her birthday, but they gave it to her in January because they didn't think they'd be here, you know, when they left for Christmas. And so my mom goes, remember I gave you your Mila the Unicorn for your birthday? And she goes, yeah, but now this is this birthday. <laughs> Ava, do you know who this is from? Yeah. It is from Mommy and Daddy. Wow. Chelsea and her camper. Oh, how cute. Oh, I love it. Ava, who's this from? <laughs> what is it? Oh, 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 Ava, what is it? Cake decorating oh, Barbie. Oh, A cake decorating Barbie. What? Barbie. Ava, you gotta go hug the people that gave that to you. Who, who gave it to you? You gotta give hugs. Yeah. And mommy, go get mommy. Come on, we have one last surprise, something you have been talking about, maybe potentially wanting. It's a very big surprise, though. Are you ready for it? Not yet, Ava, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. And open! But listen, you're gonna have to get your land legs back before you can ride it, because you have a mermaid tail. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ava. Happy birthday to you. She can't tell you what she wished for. It'll come true.
All right, you guys, this party is dwindling down. We did pop a hole in the bounce house, sad day. Too many kids on it, burst it, popped a hole, gonna have to try to fix it. We are winding down this night, celebrating this little girl right here. Ava! Yo. Yo. You guys, the parties are over. Honestly, I told Lindsay earlier, if I had known that Marion and her family met celebrating like multiple days for a birthday, I still would have married her. I just would have appreciated a heads up, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one day, and we have to celebrate three days in a row. Guys, it's so fun. It's like one of my favorite things about being a mom, are throwing birthdays. You're a good party planner. You're very good, actually. You're a, an equally good party planner. Justin gets in there and like enjoys all the details with me. The mermaid tail? Is all today me, yes. today all he's me. blown up balloons really. from my mermaid tail. My extra balloon, you yep. know, mermaid yep. tail. Guys, today was amazing. It was a ton of fun. It was so fun. This was the first time I think we've had the entire Bingham family, with the exception of Dan and Shell, together since my parents left on their mission in September. It's true, and it yeah. was one of those beautiful, perfect summer nights. It was awesome. Where the weather was just amazing, and we just all sat outside and talked forever and ever and ever. Like we told you that we had, didn't realize we had the bounce house, so the kids were having a blast doing that. and Until it popped. But we just, honest, it, it honestly was just one of those nights I didn't want to end. It was just so fun. And everyone was so sweet to cute little Ava. She got the cutest little gifts. She did get a very cute gifts. She's been waiting, like you said, since early this morning to open it. Literally. We had the yummiest food. Ava requested hot dogs. We haven't had a good hot dog in a long time. Oh my gosh, yeah, I think I want to have more hot dogs. You guys, it was so much fun being with everybody that we Accidentally, we were chatting with Brandon and Mindy and all their kids were here hanging out at the house and we looked at our watch and it was 10 p.m. We had no idea. <laughs> Guys, Ava will always still be our little peanut. Even though she's five, she's still always gonna be our little peanut. Because she's the youngest, I just think of her as my little she's all, she's all baby girl. girl. Yeah, she's she always be a baby girl. girl. I can't believe she's five. Time flies too fast. No, it really does. Well, guys, we're going to go to bed because we are tired. We've had an insane weekend, for sure. I'm sure you guys have probably seen that. But if you have not yet, subscribe down below, guys. Turn on that notification bell. And thumbs up this video for us because Lindsay works super hard on this party. So did you. And we'll see you tomorrow. What's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for joining today's vlog. So we did not turn on the camera much last night. So we had a really awesome, epic part two hide and go seek video with the cousins from This Is How We Bing Them. It was the blindfold version, which was pretty fun. It was hilarious to see. I was on the camera and I was trying not to laugh the whole time. As Justin is walking around just and I think the kids misunderstood the concept a little bit because the first round, I mean, I could hear crew and Ashton just giggling oh, right in front of me. They thought it was hilarious. And I was like, guys, you're supposed to be hiding. He would be like around. this. They were just running around him, like laughing hysterically. It was pretty cute. So he had to change the rules pretty soon into the game saying you have to stay in your hiding spot. But anyway, so that was a ton of fun having the cousins over for part two. So if you have not seen that video, link uh, actually above now, you can go watch that. It's something our kids beg to do very often and their kids beg to do very often. And we were just talking about yesterday in a group text about the possibility of doing an adult version of Hide and Go Seek with Brandon, Mindy, Justin, and myself, which I think could be pretty funny. You guys, comment down below on who you think would win that adult Hide and Go Seek. We want your feedback. <laughs> I think we would win. So there might be some more Hide and Go Seek coming at you here. So last night, we didn't have our cameras with us because it was late, very dark, so obviously not much to film, but we had such a fun adult voting date night. Something we've been wanting to do for a long time. Such a fun group of people. And it just was so fun to just let loose and have so much fun out there. We had glow sticks, we had... So our friend brought glow sticks, which just added to the party. So we were having dance parties out there. We all got out there and surfed. Everybody surfed a couple times. We tried out the new lights on the boat. They worked amazing. And honestly, we got off the lake at what, 11? 
15 maybe. It was so fun. There was a full moon. It's my favorite time to be on the lake when there's a full moon. I just love when you get a really fun group of people together. We laughed so hard. If you're not following us on Instagram, go follow us over there because we posted a lot about that there on Instagram. So we have a full day today with family. First, my mom who's in town because my sister's having a baby, plus my sister and her husband and her little girl, my niece, are coming over for lunch. We ha already have some tri-tip and some chicken on the Traeger. It's gonna be a super, super yummy meal. And then tonight, we are headed over to Brandon and Mindy's house because we are celebrating with the family, Ryler and Crew's birthdays. And we're gonna have to show you what we have up our sleeve. They really, really want money. A trickery. Birthday prank is what we're calling this one. Oh, did I wake you up? Hmm. All right, we're making some more of these pepper uh, poppers. Jalapeno poppers. Are they pepper poppers? They're pepper poppers. poppers because they're usually jalapeno poppers, but we did regular peppers, bell peppers. Pepper Ava's helping she... today. And the reason we made them again is because Turin was really sad the other day when we made them while he was at soccer. And I ate, I think, probably like 25 of these things. I think I did too. They're amazing. So we're gonna share them today. Oh. Oh. Ava's being a little helper. Okay, Ryler and crew both requested money this year. Well, their mom told me that they have been wanting money to save up for things. So we got them $21 bills, each of them. And we're trying to come up with some fun ways to wrap these up in a silly way. It's just so much more fun. I don't know if you remember our last video when we went to Brexton's birthday party. We gave him a coloring book and crayons and he was so sweet and so grateful when really we had dollar bills wrapped around the crayons that you didn't figure out right away. So today my idea, because I remember seeing this as a kid and I loved it, is we are going to take the $1 bills and put them in the tiniest box and then a bigger 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 box so that when they get this giant box, they actually just have to open a million boxes to get them down to the bottom to this tiny little box. So I sent the kids out to the recycling bin <laughs> and they delivered. Okay, okay. Turin, nice work. We can work with this. Hey, that's not all either. We actually rounded up this giant box, this giant Home Depot box to be the biggest box we put it in. So that's gonna be the big guy. This young lady is due for a baby in two days, everybody. By the time you watch this video, that baby will be out. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are devising a little birthday prank here for Ryler and crew. We think we're so funny. Well, we are. So we've got a little prank we are putting together. This will be the biggest gift these guys have ever seen at their birthday party, but little do they know, there's not gonna be really much of anything in it. Yep. So we've got all these little boxes that Lindsay has compiled, the kids have compiled, right? And we've got, oh, a little I-O-U. What was funny is we asked Turn to actually write that down. He's like, well, what does that mean? Well, it means I-O-U, Turbo. I owe a, I owe a. It's so funny because we have actual cash but we're not gonna put it in there. <laughs> we're gonna give them a little I owe you. Bring the cash along. Happy 
Happy birthday, dear Rye Guy and Groovy. Stab your finger, bro. Happy birthday to you. Turbo, you're first. Hey, smart, cool. Those are cool. Those are two good Okay, 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 cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Ooh, Ooh, he does have style. What? Now that's not really a descriptive word. Actually, it's not really an actual word. Flippin'. Flipping. Okay, mine are gonna be a little bit more from the heart, you guys, just so you know. So we've got genuine over here for Rye Guy. He's a very genuine person. Okay. Kruby, I'm gonna go with inclusive. Oh buddy. Yeah. Very, very sweet. That's good. That's a good one. Athletic? That's a great word. There you go. Yeah. That's hair. That's it. Hair. So we ran out of wrapping paper because it is so large, actually. So you, the you should choose box. a gift in there, so choose wisely. Wait, choose a gift in there? What? Home Depot! <laughs> That's not something you see every day. I can't do Hold on. You're sticking it upside down. Oh, oh interesting. Oh. you choose? Oh. Um, Eeny, miny, mo. So wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what boxes and boxes? What is going on here? I am so perplexed. Oh wait! Please tell me getting chips. It's the Costco run. Okay, ready? Set. Go! <laughs> yes! Wait, no, it's a box. <laughs> no, no. I loved how excited he was. Okay, go again. If there's more later. Sorry, you're so, not chips. <laughs> Three more than Two, nine. Really? One. Go! <laughs> are you Did you hey, can I be honest? Are you guys just, you just gave all is your recycling bin full? Yeah. And this is just how you're getting rid of it? The <laughs> gift that just means giving. Hey, I can see it. Actually, that's a really good idea. I'm glad that we're not taking it all. <laughs> okay, three, two, two one, two, one, execute. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, okay, keep going, guys. Keep going. All right, guys. You guys going? realize the hundred dollar bills are pretty flat. Let's keep going here. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. What is that? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay, is he down there? What do we got? Oh! Wait, are you almost there, I guess? Oh! oh! Wrapping paper. We are down to wrapping paper. Wait, wait, wrapping paper. Go! Wait, there's no wrapping paper. There's another one. Hold on. Wait, right, wait, wait. He's got a couple more layers. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Didn't even know we had this many boxes. Next. Whoa! All right, open up. Two, three, go. Oh, there's another one. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, Really? <laughs> Keep going. Wow. Keep going. <laughs> Where's your face? I owe you. <laughs> I owe you. Is that what it says? I I I'm still go. Yep, I owe you, buddy. I want to just keep going. I don't think you're getting to anything, so keep going. Is there anything inside this? <laughs> hey, all right, guys. There is something there, buddy. It's not Trust me. The gift that yeah, Rafi keeps paper. giving. <laughs> Another? Oh my gosh. <laughs> as funny as it is, that would be so annoying to wrap all of them. I got major problems. Oh! What do you got? 
got? What you got? got a penny. A token and uh, this. Wow. Oh. So that's not any token. That is to take a shower at a camping site in Zion, actually. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right, here are your real gifts. Sorry? What is it? Here are your real gifts. 20 bucks. Oh. Oh. So if you were to break that down, that's five bucks an hour for all this unwrapping. <laughs> okay, read your card. That is okay. worth it. All right, so supposedly at the end of this birthday party here, Brandon has just issued a challenge, which is a Harley versus bullet bike right there, people. So birthday boy Kruby versus daniel son. Let's do this. Ava, Hazy, come show me what you're doing here. <laughs> Let's see your dance routine. And a one, two, a one, two, three, go. Ava. Hey, <laughs> 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 All right, you guys, listen, we just got back from a pretty epic birthday party. Hats off to this lady right here who threw a pretty incredible birthday prank on Kruby and Ryler. It was actually really, it, it, <laughs> It actually went on for so long that it was a little like, okay, like let's just get to the bottom of this wrapping. That's what really made it so funny. Is it was legitimately actually irritating. <laughs> we should have put the money inside because the saddest part is they got all the way to the end and there's really nothing good. And it took so long that I legitimately it was like probably irritating. But that's the point of the prank. Well, my favorite part is that when Rag Guy realized that he got a box of chips, he was so excited. <laughs> so you can imagine his disappointment when he opens it up and realizes it's not a box of chips. And he got the one where I wrapped it like seven times. Oh my gosh, his face was my favorite. They were good sports. It's just so crazy to see our little nephews growing up, 12 and 10 years old. Time just flies, we just love them so much. Well guys, it's not often the entire Bingham clan gets together, so that was an exclusive tonight on their birthday party. Thanks for joining today's video, everybody. Be sure to subscribe down below, come back tomorrow for our video, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Thanks so much, and we'll see you tomorrow. What's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. Today is somebody's birthday. birthday. Justin turned 37 today and he had one request that he wanted to celebrate on the lake. Now let me remind you of something. It's October. This guy wants to spend his birthday woo, woo, woo. surfing, which I love. It's what our family loves to do. It's what this guy loves to do. He actually spent most of his birthday working super hard. He had a bunch of really important meetings today. We finally ripped him away from work so that we could celebrate him tonight. So we have a few things in store for this birthday boy. Uh, I, I don't know what they are. So guys, think Hang that on. I had complained about everyone having a wetsuit, only to know that serendipitously, it was because we needed it for my birthday. Yep, it's true. In fact, Lindsay planned this literally beginning of the summer. I'm gonna buy wetsuits only so we can go surfing for Justin's birthday in October. I'm I so knew thoughtful. she loved me. I know, I'm she loved so me. thoughtful. Okay, Dad, first things first. Ava, what do we have for him? <gasps> you need a birthday hat. Should I wear this when I surf, I need Yes, definitely. <laughs> Looks good on him, doesn't it? That's an elf, that's a mini elf. on a birthday. Okay, Ava, what's next? What? Put it on. You oh, know you love it. Hey. <laughs> Looking good, Daddy. Oh. Okay, next up, happy birthday sign on, on the boat. The boat. Number four. Oh, I wanna do it. Pass them around, everybody. Order the <laughs> pink? Okay, you take pink. I wanna take blue. Hey, let's make sure they work. I gotta make sure they work. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, they work. All right, Nando, here, you want gold? 
Okay, if your name is Justin Bingham, what is better than a birthday cake? Well, my name is Justin, can I answer? Yeah, you can answer. Uh, chocolate chip cookies. Um, nom, 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 oh, nom, 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 nom. Ding, 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 ding. Guys, we are gonna eat chocolate chip cookies, serve, and have this sash on with the cone of happiness. Oh, oh this seems really quite heavy. There's like 20 cookies. Whoa. Okay, we have a pumpkin oh, cake cookie. We have a chocolate cake cookie. We have pink chilled. Right. We have ultimate peanut butter, chocolate chip, oh, Twix. and Twix, Twix. Oh, my baby. Goodness gracious. Uh oh, that's gonna get burned. Uh Turin was supposed to test this. That's oh, oh, I think that mom doesn't know how to light a lighter. I think that's accurate. <laughs> Oh, Daddy, you better be thinking of some wishes. We are getting kind of old, don't you think? I know. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dad. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish, make a wish. <laughs> what do you say we eat a cookie? Or should we serve first? Cookie, cookie or serve? Cookie. 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 Justin and Turin just got done so doing some double surfing. Turin, I want to know, how's the water in October? It's chilly. <laughs> guys, that is the best we have ever double surfed. That Turin. was, you guys did so great. Best you birthday ever. <laughs> you were going up and down the wave way oh, back yeah. there. My whole body's numb, that's all I Was it as bad as you thought it was going to be? Uh, very much so. It was, it was <laughs> Even in the wetsuit, huh? That's not what Your hair is. is dry, that's, well, that's impressive. that's because when we double surf, I just see dad fall back, so I just let go. And then I just hold on to my board so I don't get wet. All right, Lando is up. Lando, how's the water? Uh, be honest, how is it cold? No, I'm actually fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Lando. Are we... You gonna get up on the surfboard tonight, buddy? Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Ha no hands? No hands. We're gonna do a lot of things, actually. Just wait, wait and see, people. Wait for the show. All right, guys, we have come down to Maria Bonita's for some nice, good old-fashioned, authentic Mexican food. It's her favorite spot. It's my favorite spot. It's pretty much the family favorite spot here. Why did you come out of the canyon from boating? <laughs> She's been putting that on her head all night. Guys, I brought this. It's a chair cover. It doesn't fit their chairs. No, it doesn't. But 
Yeah, this has been an amazing birthday thus far. Hang on, birthday hat. I've got a feeling, you guys, I will be doing this uh, when I'm 57, not just 37. Am I right? He's a lucky guy. And I'm a lucky guy. Look you at know? the hat I got him for his birthday it's from guys, the dollar store. You guys, tonight the boat was amazing. We got to surf in hydrofoil all night. It was beautiful. No one was out there, and the water really wasn't that cold. If you asked Turn that, he wouldn't agree, but I think my wetsuit's a little thicker than his, by the way. So I'm kind of cheating a little bit. Landon is definitely your mini, because he never feels cold out there either. He had zero desire to get back in the boat. <laughs> zero. Just wanted to surf all night. You didn't want to get back in the boat either. But it got dark really fast. It did. Then we it had fun, to though. get here for dinner. So now we're going to enjoy ourselves a nice dinner. Guys, this just in, this apparently is just Lindsay's rice and beans to go with her fajitas. For the next three days. Yeah, for the next three days that might feed, actually this will feed our entire family for the next three days. Babe, where's your hat? I it dropped it. I think you might have dropped it on purpose. No. I can hold your other hat. No, I'm good. I'm just, I'm good. I don't want to. I want to see it. For next year. I want to see it. You look really good in it. Oh yeah, there we go. There's my birthday boy. Sorry guys, Justin uh, isn't gonna be able to look at the camera tonight because this is what 37 looks like. Guys, kinked my neck good with landing on my shoulders tonight, but it was totally worth it. He's like, Dad, we did it again. We did it again, Dad. Oh boy, these things have fallen me everywhere. <laughs> that and the cone of happiness, I like to call that one. And the chair cover. And the chair cover. And the sash. And the sash. The sash we lost uh, pretty soon into surfing because I tried to swim and it uh, came right off. You looked like Mr. Utah, Mr. America with that sash on. One thing I forgot to cheers with our cheers glasses. I brought milk on the boat for their for our cookies. We were gonna cheers with them. So cheers right now. Cheers to 37, babe. Guys, 37. I still feel young. I've been telling people my metabolic age is 32, so I'm gonna keep claiming 32 actually. So I, we got a lot of cookies. I have more caramel cookies than I know what to do with. Justin got quite a few deliveries today. You got a lot of birthday love. A lot of birthday love. Thank you for all the birthday love on Instagram. I uh, talked a lot about Justin today and how much we love him on Instagram. So if you aren't following us there, make sure you're following us there. Tonight, Turn was talking about how adults are just not as good looking as kids. It just reminds me that he thinks of us as old people, which is funny. But I was telling Turin that I think Justin has gotten better looking with age. He's like a fine wine. <laughs> a little dust on the bottle. Only gets better with time. <laughs> well, very sweet. I said the same thing about Lindsay. In fact, this will prove my point. There is a picture that Sean posted on Instagram today. Such a false picture. Anyway, Sean, if you're watching, that is not indicative of what really happened. Do you want to defend yourself here? He's standing there in the picture with his head back. Like and a football's about to hit me. Supposedly, I went out for a pass, and I'm sure it got lost in the sun. I don't know. But it makes it look like I'm, I'm running from a football, basically, is what it looks like. <laughs> Love celebrating this guy today. My only complaint is that we did not get enough time with him. We did not get on the lake as soon as we probably wanted to because I worked a lot of the day. But about... we have a birthday date coming up on Saturday, which is going to be super fun. So the birthday celebrations have not ended. As you guys In my know, opinion, Lindsay, it's birthday month. It's birthday month, yeah. So. so which I won't allow, but I'm okay for the birthday weekend. I'll take the weekend. Guys, thank you for all of your wonderful comments, your happy birthday wishes on both Instagram and YouTube. In fact, by the time this video even gets comes out, it won't be my birthday anymore, but many of you are commenting on today's video. Wish me a happy birthday. So thank you very much. You guys are truly amazing, awesome uh, YouTube family. Here's to many more birthdays. So guys, if you are new to our channel, welcome. As always, be sure to smash that like button. Just smash it, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning and happy Friday at the Bingham House. Ava has started officially on Fridays. We have to get fries because it's fry day. So we're gonna try to make that a new tradition that every Friday we get fries because it's Friday. You guys, I talk about how in our family, it's not birthday, not birth week, it's birth month. And I'm holding to that because we haven't given Justin his birthday present today and it is a really big one. I'm talking huge in a lot of ways. Huge, 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 huge present that he's getting this year. He's very excited about it. We're gonna show you that today. He's getting his birthday present today. 
He's been in the process of looking for this for a long time and convincing me that it's a good idea. There's your huge hint for anybody that knows us. So stay tuned for that. You're going to see something that Justin's very excited about. On the agenda today, we also have a work party tonight. For those of you who don't know, Justin is an entrepreneur. He is the CEO of a company called Opinion. Tonight, he is having a work party. We are going to dinner and then we are going to a movie. I'm assuming they've rented out a movie theater because that's the only way that you're allowed to do it during COVID is to rent out the entire movie theater and sit a certain distance apart from each other, I'm guessing. Anyway, we have not been to a movie, goodness gracious, for sure since March, but probably much longer than that. So this is gonna be really fun to go to a movie at a movie theater, to get out on a date, and to get to know people that Justin works with. If you're ever wondering what hard work and dedication looks like, it's going to soccer practice on a Friday evening when you'd rather be with your friends. Yep. <laughs> All right, you guys, Justin and I just picked up his birthday present and he's pretty excited about it. So, are you ready for the reveal? In three, two, one. Ta -da! <laughs> Justin has been wanting a motorcycle for years. So this would be the second Ducati that I have owned and I see probably the most beautiful. Okay, so comment down below, gotta be the best birthday present I've ever been given. The best, everybody. Now you can probably guess what our date is gonna be tomorrow. Yeah, it's a motorcycle ride with my woman up the canyon to go get some dinner. I do love a good motorcycle ride, especially this time of year with all the beautiful leaves. It's gonna be so fun. But I just have to say here, for anybody who knows me, you know that motorcycles scare me. So when he started asking for one again around his birthday, I was super hesitant and super nervous because I just don't want anything to happen to this guy. Guys, I am so excited to show the kids because they've been asking, Dad, do you think you're gonna get a bike? I'm like, I don't know, guys, probably not, you know. But I am so excited to show these guys this motorcycle because the twins specifically are gonna flip. Yeah, so they're at school, they have no idea. They're gonna come home to a surprise. But he'll, they'll be almost as excited as the birthday boy. And now, honestly, the kids are old enough, including Ava, to actually go on rides. Because when I first had my bike- They were very little. They were very little. And Ava I, wasn't, I wasn't even born. Yeah, Ava right. wasn't even born and the twins were still like, I think they were less than a year old. I wasn't gonna put them on a motorcycle. Two hours later. All right, guys, here she is all cleaned up. So for those who are curious, 54 is the number of a famous racer here that rode with 54 or with nine, which is five plus four. The kids, however, have not seen it. They keep saying, hey, Dad, where are you gonna get your motorcycle? When are you gonna get your motorcycle? They have not seen it yet. So I am finally home now for my meetings. I'm gonna invite the kids out here to the garage and surprise them. They are going to flip because they have been wanting me to get one of these for a long time. Finally, they're at the age where I can put them either in front of me or behind me with a helmet and just kind of cruise around the neighborhood. We live by the mountains, therefore we can kind of go up the canyon. They're gonna love this. So anyway, I'm gonna come out here and surprise them here in just a minute. They have no idea. I'm, I, I'm gonna invite them out here and uh, pretend they have to clean the garage because the garage is actually quite dirty. So I'm gonna bring them out here. Let's see what kind of reaction we get out of them. All right, guys, we are going out to clean the garage here. Hi, Peanut. Gonna go clean the garage because somebody leaves a lot of stuff in the garage where it shouldn't be. So we're gonna call this our cleaning vlog. I knew it the whole time. Wow. How does this even get here? Peanut, what do you think? How is this even Dad, is this really yours or you're just running it? No, this is mine. Wow. Peanut, what do you think? Sit on it. You want to sit on it? Okay, Ashley, what do you think, buddy? Who wants to take a ride? Me. Can I go? Yeah, me, everyone? Me, 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 me. Everyone? Oh, okay. Anyway, so for those of you that are wondering why a Ducati, so I used to own a Ducati back when the kids were young. Turn was little, twins were just born. Did get in an accident on it, didn't get all that seriously injured, but I've always loved Ducati, so I served an LDS mission in Italy. And in one of the cities that I lived in for almost nine months was Bologna, and the factory for Ducati is in Bologna. And so I fell in love with these bikes years ago as a teenager and have always dreamed of owning one. So when I bought my first one, 
dream come true. Decided to sell it, well, excuse me, I wrecked it. So that kind of forced me to just be done with the bike for the last nine years or so. Time has re-arrived for me to, to enjoy this thing. Not so much as a commuter, but just more as something to enjoy up the canyons or maybe just a quick jaunt down to the office. Probably not something I'll take on the freeway all that often. Yes, sir, I did. This thing is awesome. What do you think, pal? I think sweet. Good looking, huh? Um, I almost came to pick you up uh, from soccer practice on this, but I realized, yeah, probably not the best first impression to give your mom. What do you think? It's really cool. It looks brand new. It's really shiny. All right, guys, Mr. Turbo is first up on the motorcycle routes. We're gonna go oldest all the way down to youngest. We're gonna give these guys the thrill of a Ducati. All right, buddy, you ready for this? Ducati red, my friend. How was it, Tur? It was awesome. Yeah, we went awesome. into the canyon. You went into the canyon? Yeah. Wow. Quite the ride. <laughs> Landon, on a scale from one to ten, how excited are you? Oh, I'm a little bit scared. You're a little nervous? Yeah. Is this your first time ever on a motorcycle? I actually think, it, well. With dad, at least. I think it is, yeah. On a snowmobile, it's a lot scarier. <laughs> Lando, what did you think? First ride on a motorcycle. It was really fun. Was it scary? No. No, did you love it? Ashy, I asked Lando the same question. On a scale from one to 10, how excited are you about this motorcycle ride? Um, really excited about the seven, probably. A seven? I thought for sure you'd say an 11. A 12? A okay, a 12. that's more like it. Bash, how was your first ride? Really good. Did yeah, you go? Really did good. you go it fast? Was scary though, like, cause I, like, I run like the back, so it's like I don't really feel that secure. To me, it's yeah. a little scary. So, Last but not least, we have Ava May, and her question to Dad was, Can we go really fast? Can we go really fast? Ava, do you want to sit on the front or the back? Front. Front. Oh, your helmet matches your dress. Ava May, how was it? Did he go fast like you asked him to? Did you not love going fast? All right, guys, we are wrapping up today's video. Of course, I have a big smile on my face. I'm so happy that he finally got what he's been wanting for so long. In fact, earlier today, Turin said, Mom, why'd you end up letting Dad get a motorcycle? Because for anyone who knows me, I get very nervous about motorcycles because I don't want anything to happen to him. Well, rightfully so. If they need to be respected, a, for sure. If there was ever a car accident, it's you against another car, right? And so I just don't want anything to happen to Justin. So I've been a little hesitant. So anyway, I said to him, well, Turin, sometimes you do things you don't want to do for people that you love. So 
I love you and happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, best birthday present ever. I think we might have to go on Sunday rides pretty often, don't you think, Peanut? The question is how we... Yeah. Guys, thank you for watching today's video. Honestly, huge shout out to my wife here who got me a pretty epic birthday present. Sentimental value. Those that know our family know that we've got some love for Italy and so now adding an Italian bike to the family just makes it all the more. We're just now a complete family, everybody. Yeah. Duh. All right, you guys, hey, subscribe down below. Be sure to smash that like button, everybody, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, everybody. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our life in Holland. If you saw yesterday's video, you know that we started off this week with a bang. It is birthday week over here for two special little boys in our family who happen to be one minute apart. And we have one with us here today in the back seat. Yep. <laughs> Are you the younger one or the older one? The younger. <laughs> In fact, I ended yesterday's video saying, if you want to see somebody exactly like this guy, come back tomorrow. It's a little bit of a cheesy joke. But well, for here he is, everybody. <laughs> for those of you who are new here, we have identical twin boys, Ashton and Landon, and they are turning 10 years old on Sunday, a whole decade old. And for anybody that knows me, I go big for birthdays. We love birthdays at our house. So yesterday, we had an amazing time having a little one-on-one -on -one date with Ashton, mom and dad, and tonight is Landon's turn. Tonight we are taking Landon out for a special date. He has chosen to start off the night at Costa Vida. Okay, let's be honest here. I think we probably thought when we were gonna go out to dinner with Landon here that he was gonna choose burgers. <laughs> he always chooses burgers. Do you agree? Lando has good taste in food though. So Lando, I was really surprised when you said Costa Vida. Very pleasantly surprised, but surprised. I thought for sure you were gonna say burgers. It's Taco Tuesday. That's why you chose Costa Vida. Taco Tuesday, baby. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I did. <laughs> Did you just pull a tooth? Those decade old teeth are starting to fall out there, buddy. <laughs> my teeth! My teeth! <laughs> you have such a huge gap smile. I pulled it out. It didn't come out itself. I pulled it out. Oh, like it's no big deal, huh? Do it smile. Funny. Smile. Let me see your smile. Oh, we got a pretty big gap on the left side right there. All right, you guys. We just can't seem to get summer out of our system over here. So for Landon's activity, you guys, what do you think he chose? Huh? Knowing Landon, what do you think he chose? We're going to give you a little bit of a hint here. Are you ready? Yeah. And it's going to start with the fact that he literally, as we walked in, started to take off his shirt. <laughs> if that helps. We're going swimming, baby. We're going to the pool. I just hope everybody and Landon is gone. Oh, he's so excited. <laughs> he's just running towards it. <laughs> Slides open, man. You know what that means? It's go time. Slides open. Is a more epic slide. This slide or Tidal Cove in Miami? Uh, maybe a little bit more Tidal Cove. <laughs> oh, I would think so. Guys, if you have not seen that video of us going down one of some of the most epic water slides in Miami, you have to check that out. Right now, truly, that is what got this kid addicted to water slides. <laughs> Bye. 
god. All right, Lando is insisting that I go down this water slide with him. I love water slides, but he must know that I love him right now because I don't love the dark water slides. And this is one of them, so... Justin, do you remember when you made me go down that really mean water slide in Miami? Yes, we just were talking about it as we went over the last one. <laughs> that was a sight to see. All right, Lando, let's do this. Chili, chili, chili. Willie the penguin. Oh my goodness, it's freezing. You might like it. What? And you know what? I might. You never know until you try it. Well, I think the whole thing's outside, dude. Well, how do we get back into the building? It turns back towards the pool. Man, this is a, a long way up, isn't it? Are you proud of me? <laughs> I think I deserve a big kiss on the cheek. Oh, and a big hug. I want a kiss on the cheek, though. Kiss on the cheek. Yeah. <laughs> he won't give me a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> I will. I will. I will. Oh, thanks, Dad. I'm waiting, Lando. I'm waiting. Oh, so you want to give me a kiss on the cheek? Because you want a kiss on me? <laughs> Lando, did you just give Dad a kiss? Yeah, I did. <laughs> You're my favorite daddy. You <laughs> did. That hiding spot. <laughs> you weren't supposed to see us yet, Mom. We have apparently to uh, this astute observational idea why here, Lindsay. Uh, the water slide. Outside, can I just tell you that I can hear you guys <laughs> way before you got to the bottom? It was like the second that you started, I could hear you as if you were right next to me. <laughs> giggling all the way down. We have the perfect angle for destruction. Guys, Lindsay actually just pointed out quite nicely how we're all wearing matching suits. It was done on purpose. It was. We wanted to be a matching. Oh, my hair is thick and straight up. We wanted to be a cute little matching family tonight. Oh, here it comes! Ah! Lucy Yeah, jump on my back, underarm, underarm, shark dolphin, baby. I don't know why we call it shark dolphin. But that's the name that we called it. That's what we're sticking to. Hang on tight, brother. You ready? Three, two, one. Tap on my chest when you're ready to come up. Go. deja vu over here because Landon chose to come to Swig for his dessert tonight. Shocker. <laughs> they actually are having free refreshers tonight, so we kind of lucked out. Guys, we had an absolute blast at the pool. Can I just say that? I'm really glad he chose that activity because it felt like summer was back again, didn't it, Lando? Yeah. Yeah. And we've kind of got chlorine face going on here, all, all of us. Lando loves the pool. It makes him so happy. He could go down the water slide 8,000 times in a row. In fact, the pool closed or we never would have gotten him out of there. And the best part about doing these dates on weeknights is that we have the places to ourselves. Yeah, it's totally empty. nobody totally there. Totally empty. Well, now we need to hydrate because we didn't get enough water. Oh, that's my hair. Looking good, babe. Oh, you do. 
<laughs> How you doing? So, Lando chose the exact same kind of cookie as Ashton. Lando, what did you get? Cookie. Look to the cookie, Elaine. Look to the cookie. All right, Lando, shark attack coming up. Pretty sure Ashton got one gummy last night. So somebody was extra generous with you tonight, buddy. That's what you get for being patient and coming second. All right, you guys. Well, happy birthday to this little guy right here, everybody. So, guys, thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you for being part of our channel. Thank you for the support that you have shown to this little man right here. Yeah. Many of you guys have been a part of his journey since Brandon and Minnie started their vlog, and many of you have been a part of our journey since we started ours. So guys, we love you, we appreciate you. Thank you for hanging out with us today and celebrating this little man's birthday, and for hanging out with us yesterday, celebrate sweet little Ashton's birthday. But the birthday celebrations haven't even begun yet, because yeah. their birthday's not even until Sunday, so buckle up for yeah. one awesome birthday week. That and Lindsay's their mom, so we know that they are definitely not over yet. So guys, subscribe down below. Smash the like button. Turn on those notification bells. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Peace. All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to our channel. This is Landon Bingham. I'm Justin Bingham. Turn Bingham and Mama Bingham and Ava Bingham and Ash Bingham are not currently here. In fact, Turn Bingham was just with us. So we are up this morning again. Typical Saturday. Fun never ends, everybody. Uh, if you saw the video last week, you saw that Turin had like three games in a day and Ashton had a game, we had two birthday parties. Well, guess what? Turin has three games today, Ashton has one game and we have one of the kids' birthday parties. Ashton's birthday party is this evening. Landon last week was not allowed to come because they had said due to COVID, one spectator per family. However, they have changed those rules. And so Landon is gonna join us today on our little adventure for Turin's game. So we're up here in Salt Lake City at the Riverbend Indoor Soccer Field. So Lindsay's back at home with Ashton and Ava before we have to rush home and take Ashton to his soccer game while Lindsay is getting everything prepared for Ashton's birthday party tonight. So today's gonna be a crazy day. Join us for the craziness. Here we go. Alright you guys, we are done with Sur Tur oh, Surin's game. We are done with Turin's game and have made it back home. Turin, they tied one to one actually. They didn't play their starting lineup the whole game just because they have a uh, kind of a big game tonight. So anyway, not that I'm finding excuses, I'm just telling you the truth. Anyway, so I got Ash Bash in the car. Hi. We are headed now to his basketball game. Guys, I didn't even get out of the car. We just drove right up, dropped off the other two, because this game, however, they do only allow one parent spectator. So that'll be me. Anyway, so we're off to Ashton's game. We're gonna come home. We'll have maybe a, an hour break, and then Turn has a basketball game. But really, the bulk of today is gonna be this guy's birthday party. Yeah. So you're gonna have to come back later in the video to find out exactly how he decided to spend his birthday party with his buddies. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, I am back. I have been busy running around like a busy little bee. You like jazz? Getting ready for these birthday parties this morning. We've got today, tomorrow, and the next day, all three parties in a row. So I was running from store to store trying to get ready for today. We are so excited for Ashton's little friend birthday party today. All I gotta say, guys. Game time. It's game time. 
So I did a soccer theme for Ash, football theme for Landon, so that tomorrow we can have a soccer and a football theme. I gotta show you some of the cute stuff that I found. All right, so we've got the Big Ten balloons. We've got some soccer balloons, because this is Ashton's party today. We've got all sorts of cute little soccer party wear going on. We are going to a fun place where we can do laser tag, ropes course, bowling, all sorts of fun stuff. So I put together little treat bags with some snacks and drinks for the kids in case they get hungry. And then we're gonna come back to the house later and have cake. We got a full house in here. Ashley's got his friends. We are masked up. We are ready to go. We got some laser tags, some bowling, some rope force. Here at Pearl Beach Resort, here we go. All right, we got Kruby doing the house and Brexit Doodle rocking the Our Life in Holland t-shirts. We got Big Mac and the whole crew. We are here at Provo Beach Resort. I actually stepped outside so I could take my mask off because it was so loud in there that with my mask on, you couldn't hear a word that I was saying. Ashy has such a great group of friends here. A couple kids from school, his cousins, a couple of other friends, his brother Landon. First things first, the boys all wanted to go spend their arcade money at the arcade games. And right now they are starting their very first game of bowling. We are going to have such a good time. music for the kids.
All right, guys, we are back home after a very, very full day of partying at Pro Beach Resort. We, we were... did arcade games. We did the ropes course. We did bowling. We did laser tag twice. We did it all. And we are exhausted and starving. The kids are just eating more pizza than I've ever seen anyone eat in their lives. They just plowed through some Little Caesars and now it is time for cake. For cake. Here we go, everybody. We have by Ashton's request. Cookies and cream ice cream cake. Two of them, actually. <laughs> one for today, one for tomorrow. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Ashton. Happy birthday to you. Everybody, welcome back to a very special day. Today happens to be Ashton and Landon's actual birthday. Ta-da! We weren't actually gonna vlog today because it's Sunday, but we had to capture their actual birthdays. We're going live a little bit later, and by the time this video comes out, the live will have already gone live. So if you missed that, go check it out now. But guys, we've got a lot in store for today. We've got breakfast we're gonna put together. And of course, we're gonna have to do the famous eggs that they love so much. We've got some ribs we're gonna be cooking a little later today. Guys, today is gonna be packed full of fun, and we figured we'd bring you along with us. But I have to tell you, this morning when the twins woke up, we were singing to them, happy birthday to you. And Landon goes, mom, it's not our birthday yet because they were born at 10 in the morning. Gotta love Lando, he knows. <laughs> he knows it to the T. They were born one minute apart at around 10 in the morning. So we had to wait until 10 in the morning to call them officially 10 years old. Uh, yeah. Okay, can we put this in? This is for Landon, okay? Because it has a football in it. Mm -hmm. So, you know how there's a football in here? Put the football one by the football plate, okay? Okay. And the soccer one by the soccer plate, okay? Okay, deal. Okay, is that one done? Danza? Is it Danza? Danza. Okay, birthday boys are down here. Breakfast is ready, the table is set, and we are ready to eat. Guys, this is hands down the twins' favorite breakfast is breakfast sandwiches. And so we figured, why not on their very special day to <laughs> create breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> it's such rocket science. Literally, we go to a restaurant, egg sandwiches. At home, egg sandwiches. That they just love them. And there are the famous Bobby Flay, AKA Justin Bingham eggs. And Lindsay made quite the effort on separating the table out into football for Landon and soccer for Ashton. Okay, stand up. I already measured myself, I'm for eight. Stand up tall, tall. Back to back, let's do this, dude. Okay, we are done with breakfast. We just opened up gifts with Papa and Grandma Bingham. Now, next on my list of projects to do, oh, by the way, guys, here's our little wall of arts and crafts, are the ribs. Now, the ribs take about six hours to cook. Yes, you heard me right, six hours. First of all, the flavor recipe is my own personal recipe. The cook time, however, is actually on Trader's website. So if you are curious about how to make these ribs, comment down below, we'll give you the recipe that we used to create the flavor, but then the cook time, it takes six hours per Traeger's suggestions. So. 
The ribs are fully seasoned. They have been basked with some delicious seasoning and a little bit of a sauce that I kind of created. It's my fancy sauce. Now, to be honest with you, my sauces that I create, they're not like a recipe of anything. Ketchup and mayonnaise mm. mixed together. So. Mm, so good. I honestly just kind of pull stuff out of the fridge. Whatever I'm feeling, that's what I kind of put in. But it always has some sort of base of mustard when I'm doing my ribs. So if that helps. Mustard is really good. But anyway, I'm happy to give you some suggestions on what I use. But I want to give you a peek at what these ribs look like because they're looking incredible today. And as many of you guys know, knowing the twins, egg sandwiches for breakfast and ribs for dinner. That is kind of what they do. Basically, we're preparing all their favorite foods today. Oh, yeah. On your iPad. We were just talking about you. Oh, I have to tell you at all. You have to tell me. Hi, Sean. <laughs> you. <laughs> Hi, Sean. He's calling your iPad, too. How cool is that? Yeah. Thanks. Yep. Oh, what have I been doing? I just have been eating breakfast and... We did breakfast, we did church. FaceTime to Papa and Grandma. We did FaceTime Grandma. Papa and Grandma Bingham already. We've opened up Papa and Grandma's gifts. Are you in Panama soon? Yeah, now I'm in Panama City. Jared is going back home right now to Miami. It's like the year went by really quick. Yeah, it did, huh? Yeah. All right, you guys, let's check on these ribs. and it tells you if you have a pass, or a run, or an interception, and you move the ball down the field. Oh, what? Wow. That is so cool. Okay, the moment has arrived. You guys, they have been waiting all day to open their presents. They are so excited. All right, Ashley and Atlanta, come over here. Gather hither, my kids. All right, I've got two gifts over here. One is bigger than the other, mm -hmm. and they want to know whose is whose. Yes. Now, I know that we did most of your birthdays separately this mm -hmm. year, but your gift are combined. Oh. So you are both receiving a gift together today. An experience? Ooh. <laughs> what could it be? It's an experience, we'll tell you right now. So, at the same time, I want you to rip this tissue paper out of the bag. Okay. Three, two, two one, two. Oh my gosh! Oh. Yes, yes! <laughs> Linda, what is it? It's the Oculus. Oh, it's yeah. the Oculus! Hey, you little, you little, you little liar! Dude. Yeah! This is the best present ever. There you go, buddy boy. Are you guys excited? Okay, so you're gonna. Uh, Aww. Thank you, Mama, because guess what? These things are sold out literally everywhere. Mom found one 30 minutes away, and the guy's like, hey, I can't hold it, but if you hurry, I will hold it for you. So she left right away. She got very fast. Yes. So true story, you guys. Ava and I went on a mission the other day to make sure we could have this on time for your birthday. All right, guys, but we need one more thing. Her recommendation of Brandon and Mindy. Three, two, one. No way. Another no Oculus. No way. No way. It's an Oculus game. Oh my God. <laughs> this is a head strap, which makes it really easy to go from person to person. And do you remember how they gave you money yesterday? Yeah. Yes. It's to buy games for the Oculus. And they sent us all their favorite games. Yes. Oh. yes. The ribs are finished and they may have turned out better than I think I've ever done ribs. I realize the thing I say that almost every time Lindsay will attest, she's smiling over here behind the camera. I think I say no, that every time I cook something. I'm smiling because Justin comes up with the ribs and Ashton goes, oh, dang! <laughs> Can you see something? Yeah, I can see the little What can you see? <laughs> okay, so Ashley currently is playing the game Planks right now. Jump, jump, Ashley, jump. Three, two. Jump. Jump. 
Do it, do it, do it. Oh, shoot. Hey, birthday boy. Oh my gosh, I can't help it. Oh, tears. Tears. Ashy Bash, you good? Oh, poor guy. <laughs> okay, you guys, now we know. It really feels like reality. It's a lot more real than I thought it would be. <laughs> Okay, do you see it? Okay. Do it. Okay, here we go. Are you gonna fall? No, she's fine. <laughs> Did she fall yet? No, keep going. Just toss her off the side. Hey, are you ready? <laughs> she still got off. Is she fall? <laughs> He's with ya. Oh, Ashy, you. Ashy, Ashy, he's got ya. I got you. He's a little nervous after what happened last time. Look down, look straight down for me. No, jump No, don't jump at all. Here, so turn to the side and just step off, go. Oh, this is actually not that hard. <laughs> look down, look down. Oh, I'm after that major crash, you overcame your fear, yeah, buddy. Try. Way to go. Oh my gosh, I'm scared of the nuts. Just jump off the side, jump off the side. I hate this so much. Let's jump off the side. All right, Lando's trying the plank. First time, baby. What do you think, Lando? <laughs> I love how you Look down, look down. You scared? No. <laughs> Listen to that giggle. <laughs> okay, look down. Look straight down. <laughs> There's your birthday cake, buddy. Look down. Look at your birthday cake. <laughs> Did you get a jump or what? Ah! Look down. Now step off. Go. <laughs> it's so scary. <laughs> All right, it is time for birthday cake. And we have two Oreo lovers over here. Mm -hmm. So we've got an ice cream Oreo cake over here. Oh, they're sparkling a little bit. We've got some sparkling candles. 10 of them for two cute little 10 year olds who we love. All right, turn off the lights over there. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday to you. Ashy, get the red one. Woo! Yay! It feels like that, doesn't it? <laughs> Guys, we are at the Provo Rec Center here celebrating Landon today. He has chosen to have his friend birthday party here at the Rec Center. So we've got, how many kids do we have in, in tow today? Oh, heavenly days. Well, he invited all of his siblings, plus crew and Rexon, plus his friends. So I think total kids, we have 14, but that's including his siblings. So it's a little bit bigger of a birthday party today. Provo Rec Center is the best indoor pool. I think it is a perfect choice for Landon's birthday party. He's so excited. They have so many fun things to do here. We've got all the football theme decked out here in this party room. We are ready to party. Yes, he has the sweetest friends. One friend in particular. We get a little emotional when we talk about some of these things, but this friend in particular is so tender to Landon. 
that anywhere they go, he will hold Landon's hand. If he's going upstairs, he'll hold his hand. If he's being left behind, he'll wait. And it's just a blessing as parents to have friends like that. A lot of his friends are that way. But when you get in an area like this and it's fun and exciting, the tent sees just go run and play, which is totally fine. This one will always hang back and just kind of be there for Landon, which is just really sweet, especially because you know he's not able to keep up normally. And so his parents were super grateful for kids like that. All of his friends are incredible. So one thing he doesn't know, he's talking about one friend, but another friend, which I cried about on YouTube after the Christmas party. I don't know yeah. for those of you who know, he is here as well. He is so sweet to him. Truly on the way here, I had this overwhelming feeling of gratitude that certain children have been put into his life. And I, I get goosebumps when I talk about it, but I truly believe that God puts people in our lives and God has put incredible friends in the path of Landon and we are so grateful. All right, let's go have some
because I forgot a lighter. Look, uh, don't blame Lindsay. So we're going to pretend there's candles. Happy birthday! Is this from you, buddy? Yeah. All right, gift time. Here we go. He got a Nerf gun. What is it, Lando? Oh. Yeah, buddy. Oh, Woo. So cool. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. Oh, yeah. Lando. You know what this is? No. This is an In-N-Out gift card. Can I have it? Oh. Give me In-N-Out. Lando. I want In-N-Out. Lando. 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 Please give me In-N-Out. I have one. Oh. <laughs> what is that? What is that? A, a wheelie. wheelie, oh it's my gosh. This is a wheelie wheelie wheel okay. car. Yeah, How cool is that? Those are cool. Cool. This one is from Brexy oh, and Kruby. It's, it's our favorite twin snake from Aunt Mindy. Okay, here we go. You want me to help you this one? Yeah. Okay, looks says happy birthday. Are you ready? <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait, 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 here we go. Do you remember what that's for? Oculus. Oculus games. Yeah. Oh. Oh. This is from Matt and Sky. Dude! Oh my. This is, this is, Look at this! You know this is? You Turn it! Turn it! Look what he got! My goodness you guys hello from the carpet this <laughs> is how tired we are guys this is what five birthday celebrations looks like <laughs> in like four days <laughs> so it started off with an individual date with Ashton at like a little maze then it was Landon's turn at a public pool then Ashton's birthday party with friends at the Pro Beach Resort then it was our family celebration their actual birthday and then today it was Landon's birthday party with the friends at the Pro Boat Rec Center <laughs> whoa we are tired but honestly our kids had a ton of fun and we had a ton of fun doing it for them so anyway today was a total blast just being at the pool and, and honestly Landon's alive in the water and just loves it. His friends were so kind, so sweet. His cousins were awesome. He has such good friends. He and really he, does. He just, it was cute to see him be on Club 9 today. Yep. <laughs> and just the attention was around him. And it's pretty rare, right? When twins have birthdays, generally they share the birthday. And this year we felt inclined to kind of let them have their own moment to shine. And it was he awesome. just loved it. He just soaked it up. I'm so. so glad we did it the way we did it. Hey guys, also, we want to thank you guys for your kindness and your generosity. The other day on the live, if you've not seen that, go check it out. But just blown away by you guys' love and support for them. So thank it you so much. It definitely made them feel special. And I think I said this on the live, but you guys make some really good birthday guests, so <laughs> we might have to have you join every single one of our birthday celebrations. Last night we were reminiscing a little bit on their 10th birthday about their birth and everything that came along How with that. How adorable this, they were oh, as little gosh. babies. We just adored them. We wish we could go back. We I were really sad do. looking at all the pictures. They were so adorable and we just adored them. I talked about how they wouldn't go to anybody but Justin or I. So when he was at work, I had one on each hip and I just loved it. I secretly just loved it. It and I wish I could go back to those days. We also were just talking about how they have such a special twin relationship and they're so amazing as individuals, but they have a unique relationship together and there's no question in my mind that they were supposed to come here together and that our family needed them. In fact, if you guys do not follow us on Instagram, if you're new to our channel, be sure to check out our Instagram, follow us there. It's Our Life in Holland. But Lindsay paid a pretty awesome tribute to these two little boys on our Instagram. So go check that out. So guys, thank you for hanging out with us today. Thank you for being a part of every single celebration we have had so far for these twins. You guys are amazing. Be sure to subscribe if you are new to our channel. If you are new, welcome, guys. This is this is our life. Daily vlogs coming out every single day, live on Sundays. Lots no, more to come. Turn on those notification bells so you know when we're posting our videos and we're going to go to bed. Good night, everybody. Uh, is there a birthday boy in the house anywhere? I said, is there a birthday boy in the house anywhere? Anyone who uh, is a teenager by chance? Oh, I won't say that. <gasps> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Turbo. Turbo being on the big twin.
pointer. Oh, you're not a twin, you're 13. Happy birthday to you. If it's nice, do it, Tyson. Then go get a pack of ice. Eat more chicken. Thank you, guys. Get over here, birthday boy. Give your mama a hug. I cannot believe that you are 13. Oh my goodness. So, Turbo Bingham, for your birthday breakfast, we have prepared Bobby Flay eggs. Bobby Flay, if you're watching yes, this, that's what thank you for wanted. the recipe. That's what I wanted. White toast. <laughs> Literally, by request. We've got toast with Grandma Sycamore's white bread. So guys, we need to emphasize the fact that he asked for white bread toast. Yeah. It's just, it's not you know your kids breakfast. eat healthy when they ask for white bread toast on their birthday. Apparently we don't get that on a regular basis around here. We you got, know more, but you We do, yeah, a little better. Okay, Traeger bacon with brown sugar on it. And a little yeah. bit of just regular cane sugar there. Just a little bit of. And then Bobby Flay eggs, all by request of turn. Oh, and for the drink, chocolate milk. Not just any chocolate milk, true milk chocolate milk. <laughs> oh, and some orange juice. This 13 year old knows what he wants. So we let the entire group sleep in because we got home a little late last night and we knew that Turn obviously for his birthday was want to sleep in. And the one thing he did ask for his birthday is that he could skip school. Bueller, Bueller. Which we are totally gonna allow. So we are up a little bit later today, whole family, all dressed, ready to go, but we're trying to spend as much time as possible as we can with this kid because, as many of you guys he's know us. from past videos, he's leaving us today to go to a soccer tournament and it's in Arizona. So he leaves at five o'clock, so we're going to soak up the day hanging out with this kid right here until five o'clock. <laughs> you will see one of the items that you requested for your birthday at the table. This is perfect because I can bring it to Arizona. I know, I was thinking it was perfect yes, timing. This is all I wanted too. Okay, and I have to show you these napkins. Do you remember these? Yes. <laughs> okay, if anyone's making the connection here, this is Turbo Napkins from the Turbo Movie. Turbo Okay, when the movie came out, all of Turin's friends were freaking out about how the movie was about him. It was so long ago, like, I was probably like seven, maybe eight. Yeah, you. I think you might have even been younger than that. So these napkins are from a turbo-themed birthday party that we did when he was super Turbo. little. It was so cute because all of his friends were so excited that the movie was named after Turin. I should say, Turbo. I, I had some good birthday parties when I was little. Oh, thanks, sir. Yeah, those days are over, bud. <laughs> Not true. We will be celebrating you until you die. Turn's nickname Turbo actually goes way back to when he was tiny, tiny. Papa Doug started it, and it has just stuck. Come on, make me sound old. Way back. <laughs> <laughs> his friends have been calling him that, his teammates. I almost think people call you Turbo more than they call you Turin. No, some, most people call me Turin, but there's one person who's never called me Turin. Who? One person, it's Caleb. Really? He's me always me called you Turbo? That's awesome. So, as you guys can see, every single plate's, you know, very, very unique and the same. <laughs> and Miss Ava decided she wanted to move her plate right there in her cup because they're different from these over here, <laughs> from there to here, because she wanted to sit by the birthday boy. Aww. <laughs> All right, you guys, great start to Turin's birthday. Can I just say how much I love him? <laughs> really, though. He's a pretty amazing kid, and I am one proud mom over here. Now we are taking a little detour to a place that we wouldn't typically go on his birthday, but if you've missed the last couple of videos, Turin took a ball to the head the other night at soccer practice. Pretty scary situation. I'm gonna let him tell you the story, but we are headed to a sports medicine doctor to make sure that he is okay, make sure that he's cleared to play soccer. This is a new thing for us, and it's just something you don't wanna mess with. So that's where we're headed right now, but I'm gonna let Turin tell you exactly what happened that night. All right, so we were playing versus an 06 team. So they're a lot older than us. So they were crossing. So Turin's 08, so 08. two years older. Two years older, yeah. So the other, they, the other team was crossing the ball hard down on the floor, and I'm defending the kid who's about to shoot the ball. So there was already like force coming towards him, and he hit the shot one touch, and it went so fast I couldn't even see it in my head. Nailed him in the face. Knocked him to the ground. Mm. We're pretty sure that he was knocked out, that he was that he blacked out because yeah. what we're hearing from his teammates is what he'll tell you next, but he doesn't remember anything from the ball coming towards him to everyone was sitting saying on I the just bench. Like fell straight down and then for like a couple seconds they kept playing and then everyone was like 
wait, stop, stop, because everyone thought I was knocked out. My coach came over and dumped a bucket of ice water on my head to wake me up. And then he helps me over to the bench, and I don't really remember ever anything in between. So, pretty scary. Turin doesn't remember anything from the point, point A to point B. <laughs> point A to point B, when the ball was coming towards him to when he was sitting on the bench. These are the kinds of things that are mother's nightmares. Not my favorite part about sports. We're gonna go get him checked out. Here we go. We are here, and we are actually having total flashbacks. His turn, where are we right now? This is where I think we got my arm kicked out right before we went to Disneyland. This exact same office. The like exact- the day before we went to Disneyland. Yes. And the exact same doctor. It's kind of funny. So we're here. He's feeling a ton better today. So we're feeling pretty confident that he's gonna be good to go, but safety first, right, Tur? Oh yeah. <laughs> Confusion, I would say it's still like maybe a one at the most. But yesterday you felt worse than today. Yesterday for sure. Yeah. In the morning. So I describe felt. how you felt yesterday. My headache was probably like two yesterday. Okay. So like still some headache. Did the dizziness go away, or did you still notice you that? You were dizzy yesterday. I was dizzy yesterday, but not a ton. Okay. Just depending on what you're doing. When I was dropping, it hurt more. Yeah. Okay. But you said school didn't really change it. Mm -hmm. Well, I was just doing school at home. I was doing like like three assignments, and she told me not to do school. Got it. Okay. But I did fine. And then shrug up your shoulders. Don't let me push your shoulders down. Good. And relax. Good. Go ahead and look down toward the ground, and then up toward the ceiling. And look over one shoulder. Yeah, and the other way. Good. Does any of that bug you at all? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just gonna take a peek where you got hit here. And the bottom. The whole, whole, yeah. whole And so your cheek and everything was really swollen. And I everything. got like, I think I got like a bunch of salt just inside my mouth. Yeah. So I'm pushing here. Does that bother you at all? All right. We're gonna do a couple other things with your eyeballs. So I'm gonna keep my fingers here. I want you to keep your face still and then just look back and forth between my fingers. Okay as fast as you feel like you can. Sure. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Good. Here's the bigger movements. There you go. Good. Okay, open up first, get your balance on the leg, and then close them. All right, you guys, I have an update from what we learned at the sports medicine doctor this morning. To be honest with you, there is a reason why Turin is not on the camera right now. He is pretty upset. So Turin went in there, he described exactly what happened the night where he blacked out, gave her all the details on how he felt that night, how he felt yesterday, and how he feels today, which I will tell you, today he is feeling very good. So he described all of those things and she confirmed that he 100% had a concussion, which obviously is not anything that he wanted to hear or I wanted to hear. Concussions are so scary, she did assure us that having one concussion and recovering from it will not harm him long term. What is scary is having multiple concussions, repeated concussions, or having concussions very close together. So because of that, he is not allowed to play in his tournament in Arizona this weekend. He is so upset right now. She explained that if you go back too soon, then it can prolong the symptoms but the biggest thing is that if he were to put himself in a situation where he could get a second concussion or get hit in, hit in the head a second time, that can be something much more serious and not worth taking the risk. Turin was very excited to play in his tournament this weekend. They are playing some teams that are very highly ranked and they were very excited to play these teams because it will help their team become higher ranked. He has put his whole heart and soul into soccer. He loves it so much. He practices four days a week. He usually has two games a week. Soccer is his life. And when he found out he couldn't play this weekend, he was so upset. So she's having him do this protocol where day one, he just jogs on a treadmill. Day two, he runs. Day three, he does his training with the soccer team, but no contact. Day four, he does a full practice. Day five, he can play in a game. So he slowly builds up. And as long as he doesn't feel any of those symptoms as he does those types of exercises, then he's cleared to play. But if he is feeling those symptoms as he's doing those things, he has to continue to do day three over and over and over again, and then day four over and over again until he's feeling good. She said that in professional sports, there are professional athletes that are taken out of the Super Bowl because of a concussion. So there are very strict rules about it because the brain is just something you don't mess around with. But as a mom, my heart was just breaking. I knew it was the right thing to do to keep him out, but it's just so hard. It's Turin's birthday today, and it just broke my heart to 
see him be so sad. So as I came out to the waiting room, I just put my arm around him and I just lost it. I started crying and I just told him how sorry I was. I just felt so sad that he was so sad. So we're home now. He's already doing a little bit better. We are now trying to figure out exactly what to do. He still wants to go to the tournament and be with his soccer team and support his team. And I can understand why. He just still wants to feel a part of it and he was so excited to go on this trip. The original plan before Landon's surgery kind of came up out of nowhere was for the whole family to go down to Arizona together. My parents live there. We were gonna celebrate Turin's birthday while we were down there. And Landon ended up needing surgery last week and he is still recovering, still having a hard time standing up and sitting down and getting in and out of cars. But also on top of that, the tournament in Arizona let us know that they are allowing no spectators at the games. So even if we had traveled all the way down there, we would not even have been able to watch his games. So it all just kind of turned out the way that it was that he was gonna go down with a teammate. His family is good friends of ours. And honestly, he was so excited. So I'm hopeful that he can still have an awesome weekend just being with his buddies. And I'm working on putting together a few little things for his birthday while he's down there. But today, our family is going to spend every minute that we can with him celebrating him because we're gonna be so sad to see him go. But for anybody that knows me, it's going to be a birth month around here and there are going to be so many more celebrations to come when he gets home. All right, you guys, we are taking a little turn out for a little birthday date here before he takes off. So a little update here. As you guys heard, he does have a concussion. Therefore, he is not able to play, but he still wants to go to Arizona to support his team, which we support him doing. Because all he wants for his birthday. That's all he wants for his birthday. And honestly, he works so hard. He's at practice four times a week, sometimes about 10.30 at night. It's a really important tournament. And while he can't play, he can at least go and show his support. So before we send him off for a few days, which is really hard for us to do, if I'm being honest, it's really hard. We just want to be with him. I don't want to send him off at all. We're just going to maybe do a little bit of shopping, have a little lunch, and then, you know, send him off. We're just kind of chilling because he can't really do anything super physical right now, considering the fact that he's supposed to take it easy. So we're going to save that for next week when he gets back and he's able to do more. Does this kid look like a kid that has a concussion, though? No, it's not. I mean, he's just dancing around, having a good old time. I think that's probably in indicative of how tough he is. But guys, brain injuries are very, very serious. We take them very serious as a household, as you can probably imagine, right? So something that we definitely do not take lightly. So he is unequivocally not playing in this tournament. The doctor says that he has one week of no activity and then we'll kind of reassess from there. Very grateful for a doctor who is giving a good assessment. Can we do something about a teenager? This kid is 13. Teenager. Okay. Anyway, it's a big Turner really wants to grow, which makes me sad, but he just loves life. He loves experiencing new things and he loves just getting older and just enjoying life, which is amazing, but it makes us sad. We just want you to be little forever. My little baby too. <laughs> oh, gosh. This should come with like a medicine where you like keeps you little forever. Oh, yep, I'd make all my kids take no it. No aging medicine. So if I can pay just a quick tribute to my son Turn right now on camera for him and for all of you, we could not have asked for a better son to be the leader of our family. Stop, you're gonna make me cry. The firstborn, I'm serious, the firstborn into this family. And we know as parents, the firstborn's sometimes the experiment, a little bit of the guinea pig. <laughs> We probably have made some mistakes, but we think we've done some good things right, I think, too. But seriously, Tara, I love him, man. Oh, he's a good boy. You're a great kid. He's a good kid, you guys. I'm sure you've all noticed that. In fact, maybe comment about how good of a kid he is. But we could have asked for a better son to be at the head of our child family. I don't know what the right term is here. <laughs> child family. Child family. We're so proud of him in every way and so grateful that we get to be his parents. He's a phenomenal older brother. Again, I think that he came to Earth ready to, to handle this family situation, and we're very grateful for that. Thanks. All right, we're doing some presents today and some presents when he gets home. So he just opened his card. We gave him some spending money. They're gonna be stopping at the outlet on their way down to Arizona. So he'll have a little bit of money in case he finds some things at the Nike outlet or Hurley or anything fun down there. I also told him he needs to buy socks because all of his have holes in them. That doesn't count for his birthday present. But the other gift that he opened today is that he wanted to order some cleats from Nike.com where you can customize them. So we have gotta show you what we're working on over here. This I knew these are different, but same thing. This was kind of the idea. He wanted to go with the LaRocca colors, which are black, red, and white, right? Yeah, so I switched it up and did that. So we did the black 
Nike logo with a little bit of a gold back right there. And then red bottom with some black studs. And then red, red ankle sock with some red shoes. But he went with the white background instead of the black. Yeah, white background, yeah. Because <clears throat> it looked a little bit more LaRocca. Because he's either wearing white and white or red and black, right? Yeah. Kind of cool that he can customize his very own cleat. Pick every detail out. Got some cleats that only Turbo could be wearing. Coming our way. The only downside is when you mid customize your own cleats, it takes a little while for them to come. So they're coming mid-March, but he plays soccer year-round, multiple times a week, so he'll have plenty of time to wear them. has come to depart with our dear child. I can't even talk about it. Don't even talk about it. <laughs> it's like we're shipping it off to college. He's literally going out for three days. <laughs> but it feels like he's going to college. I'm going to just cry my eyes out tonight, Turin. On your birthday, I'm going to just cry because I'm not with you. You blink and he's all grown up. You blink and I'll be in college. What was that? Hmm? No, I'm just walking, working. I, no, I, didn't, I didn't say anything. You should just... Okay. No. All right, well, in true mom fashion, however, you can't depart any type of special event without a picture. Photo shoot. That's Turin's favorite. He loves pictures. Alright you guys, Turin has safely made it to his destination for the night. We had so much fun hanging out with Turin today. As you know, the morning started off a little rough, but I was so proud of him because he, he was so bummed this morning and he just decided to make the most of it. He headed down with his teammates to support the team this weekend, even though he can't play. He is so excited to be going on this trip. He's so excited to be with his team and to cheer them on as they play in this tournament this weekend. But we had such a great day with Turin today. He is just such a good boy and we love him so much, so much more birthday celebrations to come so make sure you stay tuned for that we are also planning on doing a birthday live for turin when he gets back in town so be watching for that make sure you smash the like button for turin turning 13 and becoming a teenager today show him some birthday love down in the comments thanks for hanging out with us today and we'll see you guys tomorrow to our channel you guys welcome back to our life in holland it's a beautiful saturday morning over here it's we a snowy saturday morning actually we're having the most beautiful snowstorm probably the snowstorm we were wishing for at christmas time yes. but we're eventually getting it we have had very little snow this year so it is always welcome it's so gorgeous which means more ski videos to come if you guys actually have not seen the ski videos with ava and with ashton go check those out because i think there's going to be more around the corner with how much snow is falling right now yeah and they've been dying to go again they had a so much fun, they are big, big skiers. So today, you guys, is a day of love around here. Valentine's Day is tomorrow, but it falls on a Sunday this year. So we are going to celebrate today. We've got some fun things planned, a little date for us. <gasps> <laughs> but I also have a fun little Valentine's breakfast for lunch planned for the kids. I shared a bunch of stuff that I got on my Instagram stories a little while ago. I love Valentine's Day so much. Ava's my mini. We just love all the holidays. I feel like it just takes the mundane, routine part of life and makes it fun and exciting. And I love it so much. So guys, grasp on to your loved ones today. Give them a hug, give them a kiss. Tell them how much you love them. The only thing that would make today even better <laughs> is having Turin home. We are missing him so much. He's having such a great time in Arizona. In fact, we have to talk about this for a second. So this morning, my parents are the cutest ever. My parents live in Arizona, which is where the soccer tournament is. They <laughs> decided that today they were going to surprise him. So in between games today, they had a little team lunch and they all just kind of got food where they wanted to and met outside in this outside seating area. And my mom and dad planned all of this ahead of time to surprise him. And they coordinated with the mom who was with Turin. And they, my mom called yesterday and she said, Lindsay, I'm gonna order cupcakes, but 
I need you to tell me what colors. I mean, they were going to de into every detail. It was the cutest thing. My dad stood in the grocery aisle for 30 minutes looking for the perfect cart because he didn't want it to be too babyish and he didn't want it to be too girly. Well, and, you had to find something for a teenager. Yeah, and he said, he said, well, Lindsay was gonna be with all of his friends and I didn't want to embarrass him. Then he was worried about what color the candles would be because they needed to match the plates or something. I was dying. So much effort went into every detail of this and Lucky for you, we got it on video. So they showed up. And lucky for Turin. <laughs> <laughs> they showed up and surprised him and the whole soccer team saying happy birthday to him, which made me so happy that he's getting a little bit of a celebration while he's down there. I'll say hello to you. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Turin. Happy birthday. So if you guys are new to our channel, our son Turin is currently in a soccer tournament in Arizona. He's not playing though, however, so because he got a concussion. So if you've not seen the concussion video, you guys gotta check that out. Guys, we could not- A couple have, videos ago. Yeah, we could have not have had a more interesting last, you know, eight to 10 days. <laughs> he has been kind of insane around here. So he's just down there with his team supporting them. He's not able to be active for at least a week until he goes through this protocol that the doctor is requiring him to do. I talked to my parents after they surprised him and they just went on and on and on and on and on about how grateful and sweet and amazing Turin was to them. They just said, Lindsay, you guys have raised such a good boy. And I said, well, you know what? He just came that way, but I'm so glad that he was so cute. Yeah, we didn't do anything. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's go fall in love. Oh my God. I'm in love, I'm in love, and I don't care who knows it. All right, we are off to Ashton's game right now. He's got a basketball game. Lindsay's out doing a little a Valentine's Day special shopping, which by the way, I need to do mine a little bit later too. Guys, the snow is coming down, like we said, pretty darn hard. However, it's a really wet, wet snow, which makes for not the best skiing because it's really heavy and wet. However, it also makes for really dangerous avalanche conditions as well. So I don't know if I'll be going to the backcountry this weekend. However, starting Monday or Tuesday of next week, it should be pretty good conditions. And I'm hoping to get finally a backcountry run in because I have not yet done one this year because really we haven't had a lot of snowfall and the base has been pretty dismal. And so it just doesn't justify going all the way up there. However, there has been some very tragic avalanches here recently because I think people are getting really antsy to get out there and ski. And so anyway, so if you guys are in Utah and you're in the backcountry, be careful out there because uh, again, the snow is tempting, but we got to make sure we're always looking at those avalanche conditions for sure. All right, Ash Bash, you ready to go play some basketball, buddy boy? Yeah. By the way, that back there, everybody, that is mail from many of you, which we have not yet opened, which we hope to do here a little bit later, either today or in the coming days. But if you're curious what all these packages are, that is mail. See you guys what I mean? Just very mushy slushy. Smithers, I ordered ice, not slush. Okay, you guys, so <laughs> we may have gotten the time wrong here. Let me see if we call mom real quick. Because the it's completely locked up. And I don't I don't think they have a game today. <laughs> oh boy. Hey Lynn. Hey. Uh, Ash and I are at the school, and uh, it's all closed up, and the lights are all off. You there, babe? Babe, we can't hear you very well. I think it's because you're in Costco. Oh, well, we have not been able to get a hold of Lindsay. However, it's safe to say that there are no games here today. <laughs> Guys, this is what happens when you have an insanely busy schedule, a son who needed surgery, a son who has a concussion, the same son who you had to send off to Arizona, Valentine's Day, we've had three birthdays. It's just been busy. So this is the result of baby being a little bit too busy. But you know what, you know what that means? It means we got nothing, which we are totally fine with as well. All right, you guys, we are here with Ashton doing a little post-game interview. Ashton, how was today's game? It was really good. You scored like 100 points, 360 uh, dunk. Did you guys see that alley-oop that he had to his buddy? 
unreal. Reverse alley oop <laughs> slam dunk. <laughs> totally. We are having a little breakfast for lunch over here. A fun little Valentine's Day breakfast for the whole family. These are the types of things that I live for. I love this so much. I love Valentine's Day. I love holidays. I love doing fun little celebrations. I love love. Love. Ava's over here taste testing the strawberry milk. We've got a fun little menu today. We've got strawberry milk. Hot cocoa bombs, found some at Costco. We haven't tried these yet. They're kind of a trendy thing this year, super fun. They've got milk chocolate, salted caramel, strawberries, and s'mores. How am I going to choose? We've got heart-shaped bacon on the menu. Yeah, no, it's good. I'll taste, does it taste good? Okay, we've got an A-OK -okay on the taste test for the strawberry milk. We've got heart-shaped waffles because I found this darling little waffle maker. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> Cute little heart-shaped waffle maker. I just said heart. Are you so excited? Someone's as excited as I am. So we're gonna do heart-shaped waffles, sourdough waffles. We're gonna do buttermilk syrup because you have to do the buttermilk syrup with sourdough waffles. We are going to do heart-shaped watermelon, heart-shaped strawberries. Yeah. Did I cover it all? Yep, and we're doing everything. We're doing everything. I found the cutest things at Target this year. I already shared this on my Instagram, but I don't think I've shared it on YouTube. We have some fun things we're gonna set the table with. These heart-shaped bowls are from Target. These heart-shaped plates are from Target. These placemats are from Target. Look at these cute mugs. Sweet, sweetest. These I've had forever. These are actually emptied out Starbucks containers. We've used these for years. And they're from my birthday. We use those for your birthday all the time, don't we? And then found these cute little heart-printed paper straws. Those were in the dollar section at Target years ago. So Justin always gets me flowers for Valentine's Day, which I love so much. This year I decided to get flowers for him and for everybody. For him, I got flowers in our wedding colors, which I will show you right now. These were our wedding colors. I saw them in the store and thought, I just have to do that. We have not done that in so many years. So I got 17 roses because believe it or not, this is our 17th Valentine's Day this year. Do you wanna show them what you got me for our very first Valentine's Day? Yeah, look at that. Wild at heart with a picture of us when we were dating. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Mom and dad are in love. <laughs> I'm in love, I'm in love, and I don't care who knows it. <laughs> <laughs> this guy right here is actually pretty darn cute. We should also show them the shadow box you made for me. Where is that? With the, the poem you wrote. No, I'll never share that. Uh, too special? Too special. <laughs> Annabelle, Annabelle, where are you? <gasps> Don't think for one minute, Missy, we forgot about you. Annabelle Bingham, will you be my Valentine? Is that a yes you think, babe? I think it's a yes. All right, Dad triggered us some yummy, yummy bacon. We decided not to do the heart because we're hungry. That's the honest truth. But maybe next year we'll have heart bacon. We've got some heart-shaped watermelon, lip-shaped watermelon, and X 
We lost the O's. We've got some heart-shaped strawberries. Why is it just so cute when everything's in the shape of a heart? We've got some yummy waffles, thanks to dad. I made some homemade buttermilk syrup, a family favorite. We've got our cute little mini heart waffles that make me so happy. I love them so much. We've got our hot cocoa bomb, which we're super excited to try. Our strawberry milk. Breakfast awaits us. All right, the kids are super excited for these hot cocoa bombs. First timers here. As far as I know, you just pour the hot water in there and it, oh, look at that. <laughs> I missed, I missed, I missed. Oh my. Oh, oh Ava's is breaking. Oh, mine broke. Oh, that's the ashes. Oh, marshmallows just came out of ashes. Oh my goodness, what kind is your s'mores? No, it was milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. All right, you guys, we are back from a very romantic date. <laughs> we went to one of our favorite restaurants. It's called Oteo. It's a little different spin on Mexican food. It is so yummy. We actually order- Mexican fusion, is that what you call it? I don't know what fusion means. Yeah, it's really fresh tasting, fresh flavors. We got like this yummy grapefruit, pineapple salad. We Lobster tacos. Yes, sometimes we double up on queso. Should we admit that? Yeah. Kind of amazing. Publicly I don't know, it's so good. It's like this queso that has plantains in it. Don't even know how to describe Basically, it. Basically, it's, so it's, it's a starter. It's a shareable starter. However, we decide to actually not share. We get one for each of us. <laughs> we eat more than we are supposed to. And then dessert is plantains, and they have this cheese on it. I so don't know. Good. Amazing. So, good. so we are back from our date. Guys, let me just cut Lindsay off and say we hope everyone's having a great Valentine's Day, by the way. We have a few more things coming for Valentine's Day. First of all, if you guys are not following us on Instagram, make sure you go over there and follow us because tomorrow I'm going to be sharing our very yummy Valentine's dinner that we're gonna do on Valentine's Day with the whole family. But I'm also going to be sharing a very yummy drink that I have in store for us and I'm really excited about. So go over there, I'm gonna show you how to make the drink. But tonight we are going to give the kids little Valentine's gifts. Okay kiddos, so when I was a kid, I don't know if mom, you can attest this or not, but growing up my, Mom and Dad always had this, just little gifts, little Valentine's Day gifts. Little, little, little. Just little ones, okay? Like a tiny as your fingers. So, Mommy and I have just a little something special for each of you guys this Valentine's. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. So, Dad and I shopped for these together. We picked them out together. On our date. And my favorite thing to shop for for the kids for holidays are things that they already could use anyway. So, these are gifts that you can wear. And we'll give you a hint. It's not socks and underwear, because everyone can use them. <laughs> Ava May, we got you a cute little Nike windbreaker. Oh, oh yeah. Ava. Now we can all match. You like it? Oh, wow. Oh, you can match with your brothers because they have a windbreaker. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. They have a windbreaker. And Ashton and Landon, we felt like it was time for yes. a new hat. Yes. yes. What do you think? Yeah, you think like it. It. Yours is black and yours is gray. You Hi. bunch of heartbreakers over here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like this one. Thank you guys. You <laughs> so like this is how we <laughs> Hey, you're welcome, kid. I love you. <laughs> love you, love you. Ava, let's see that thing, girl. Oh, yeah. I love it. Then let's see the hat. Oh, yeah. Nice, buddy. I'll bring this to school. Turin, we got you something that you can wear, too, but you have to wait till you get home. And we saved you a chocolate-covered strawberry. All right, you guys. Hey, we hope everyone had an amazing Valentine's Day. Thank you for hanging out with us. The day of love. We love all of you. Subscribe down below if you are new to our channel. Ava, should they smash the like button? <gasps> yes, smash it our house. Okay, just just smash that. Don't smash our house. Smash the like button, please. And Lando, what else? And please subscribe. And please subscribe. Ashley, should they uh, do anything else? Uh, turn on your notifications so you can see when we t do a new video. Ooh, that's true. Yeah. Stay cool. See everyone tomorrow. Bye. 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 Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our life in Holland. We are so excited because our birthday boy is home. He got home late last night. The other kids were already in bed, but they got to see Turin this morning. We are so happy he's home and that the birthday celebrations can
can continue. He had a great trip in Arizona. He had so much fun with his team. He got to spend a bunch of time with Grandma and Grandpa Adam. They surprised him and brought him cupcakes for his entire team, sang to him, and then they had him over for a birthday dinner, made him some enchiladas, played card games for hours. They came to every single one of his games and supported the team. They had great weather. It made me so happy that he got to spend time with his grandparents because they live in Arizona and he doesn't get to see them very often. So kind of unique that he ended up in a soccer tournament. The games were literally 10 minutes from their house, so it couldn't have worked out more perfectly. The team actually had an incredible tournament. They were not scored against. They call that a shutout. Four games, no points scored against them, so they won the tournament. So it was an awesome weekend for his team. Obviously not as fun for Turin having to sit on the bench, but I'm so glad he got to go and be with his team and be a part of all of the fun. On these soccer tournament weekends, they have so much fun. They do all sorts of activities and Turin always has such a great time. First of all, thank you so much for all the birthday love for Turin. That video came out today. Thanks for all the well wishes, the birthday wishes. Little update on the concussion situation. Turin is feeling good. A few days into the trip, we noticed something that was unusual. They passed an accident where there were police lights flashing and it really hurt his head. So we're just kind of trying to watch him, make sure that his symptoms go away completely before he starts his protocol. He's going to ease back into his physical activity, doing a little bit more each day as the doctor has written out for him, making sure that his symptoms are completely gone before he goes back to playing a full soccer game. We just finished up at physical therapy. Justin just finished up at work, so we are going to meet together to celebrate Turin as a family tonight. But first, us three are headed to the balloon store to get him balloons that say how many? 13. 13. Because as you guys know, Turin is officially a teenager and I didn't want to get balloons for him when he was leaving town on his birthday. So we saved the balloons for tonight and we are going to celebrate. Party! go-to for balloon color would be blue for my boys, but I decided to do something a little bit different and fun this year considering the fact that his birthday fell on a soccer tournament and he ended up with a concussion. So I did the letters in red, got him some soccer balloons and some black balloons to go with it because his soccer team's colors are red, black, and white.
Boom. You got it. Good job, Eva. All right, you guys, we just left. Sola Gave, we are in separate vehicles because Lindsay took Landon to therapy earlier and I was coming from the office, so we met at Zerker's. If you are getting crazy weather right now or last week, will you guys comment down below and say where you're from because we just saw in Galveston, Texas, where we were just a couple weeks ago for Landon's surgery, they got snow on the beach. That has gotta be something that has not happened in a very, very long time or covered, ever happened at all. It covered the beach. So if you guys are getting crazy weather, comment down below because it is a little bit unreal, the cold front that is hitting certain areas. In fact, I was supposed to be in Dallas leaving tomorrow and have postponed that trip because of the bad weather. Which is good though, because that means I got to, we got to celebrate Turn's birthday a little bit earlier here as a family. Okay. Utah's getting a decent amount of snow right now, which is good, but it sounds like uh, parts of the state that are not used to snow are getting it, and it's kind of like shutting down the states. People are without power, some without water. If you're in one of those areas, we hope for the best. Here in Utah, snow is just kind of part of life, but crazy how the weather's just being insane. It must have maybe, maybe the mother's nature showing its excitement for Turin's birthday. When you ask your turn? Oh yeah, 100%. All right, we are heading home to watch a movie, just Turbo, Dad, and myself. So we stopped at the gas station for some movie treats because you can't watch a movie without movie treats, am I right? Turbo, always predictable with the chocolate milk. Chocolate! <laughs> One more birthday celebration in the books, but it's not over yet because we are going to have a friend party this weekend. But you guys, this guy is officially a teenager and I was thinking today about how so many things happen when you become a teenager. You know, things like getting your driver's license when you're a teenager. Kissing, kissing your, your first girl. <laughs> <laughs> what else happens when you're a teenager? Your parents are annoying. <laughs> I think that happens before you're a teenager. <laughs> you get to go to prom. High school. <laughs> High school. Definitely lots of fun. Get a job. Get a first job. So find a job already. I'm trying, okay? It's tough out there. Duck donuts. Except you kind of already had your first job this summer when you started your soccer camp. That was his first entrepreneurship. True. Experience. So lots of pretty awesome things to come in your teenage years. I still can't believe you're a teenager. Welcome to the teenage years. Oh, you start paying rent. Hi. <laughs> How much? 50 cents a month. Well, 50 cents a square foot, so can measure your room. Show me the month. Are you on a mission? You'll go on a mission in your teen years. You're not gonna ever move out because I'm never gonna let you. Guys, we're so glad to have this kid back, finally in our home. Because he's a teenager, we're just gonna soak up the next many of years before he's not a teenager because it just goes by so stinking fast. So we're grateful to have him home. I'm sure some of you can relate to this, but when your kids are little, you feel like those long, tired, toddler, years will just last forever and ever. All of a sudden we're feeling like we have very little time left with this guy. Five years doesn't feel like a lot. 18 years is a long time. <laughs> it feels that way to you, but to us it's- It's only five like, years away, buddy. It feels like only far. five years. That's, That's not very long time. To you it I'm feels glad that, you feel way. that way. Yeah, for us yeah. it feels like it just, we blink. Yeah, and it's over. And it's over. You guys, smash the like button on today's video. Especially smash the like button for this kid being so tough, recovering from his concussion. He's doing much, much better. Hopefully good enough to play in a game this weekend. So guys, we are gonna do a live on Sunday with this guy to celebrate his birthday with you, just like we do with the twins. So be sure to tune in for that and attend Turn Bingham's 13th birthday party. You are all invited. This is a public invite right now. All right, guys, we'll see you in the morning. Good night, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day of... <laughs> guys, welcome back to our channel. We have got major party preparations going on today. So we're gonna bring you guys along. As you guys know, Miss Ava May Bingham, our five-year-old is no longer five. Well, she still is. She's turning six. <laughs> She's turning six, so we've got a Bingham family birthday party coming up tomorrow that you're not gonna wanna miss. We've got a friend's birthday party coming up. So today is full preparation mode where I'm gonna go in the backyard. We're going to clean up the yard. Ava's gonna help me plant some flowers. Guys, we're just kinda getting ready. Summer is here, it has arrived, so there's not a lot of stress for school or anything like that. So we're just gonna take it easy today and just kind of enjoy the ride, I would say. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to Our Life in Holland. It is Friday, it's the weekend, it's summer. We we're all so happy over here, but Landon is extra happy. He's extra excited because the day has finally arrived. My, my aunt and uncle are taking me out to dinner because of now I can. Yes, 
if you have not watched our videos, it's kind of a tradition. Uncle Brandon and Aunt Mindy and the whole family usually come to Landon's therapy, watch him, cheer him on. He gets to show off all of his skills. Every single session they've been doing it for the last couple, right? Yeah, but I was sick this session, so I mean. But he yeah. woke up, wasn't feeling good because of a seizure the night before, was devastated, was so sad he couldn't go. And then they said, it's okay, we're still gonna take him to dinner. And Lennon was like, oh my goodness, I'm so happy. So he's waited a long time for this day. He's so excited. Tell them where they're taking you. They are taking me to a place called Tsunami. What kind of food do they have? Sushi. Sushi? Sushi. Funny story behind this. They ask him every single time, where do you wanna go to dinner? You get to choose. Nobody else gets to have an opinion. It's all you, Landon. And I always tease him because he says, well, what about sushi? And I said, Landon, sushi's so expensive. No one in their family likes sushi. That's the one thing you cannot choose. So it's kind of become this joke. So this time they secretly made reservations at Tsunami so that Landon could go get sushi. So he's so excited. Yep. It's gonna be awesome. So yep. lucky boy. Yep. And they're here. Gotta go. Yeah, see you soon. And if you want to check out their date, you're gonna have to go check out which channel. This is how we big them, baby. <laughs> That's right. If you want to check out their sushi date, make sure you go check out. This is how we big them. Well, because these guys work so stinking hard, Landon helped in the house, Ashton helped. We even had cousin crew over here help out. Where is he? I'm right here. There he is right there. These guys are gonna get rewarded. Where are you guys gonna go? The girl. Not the girl. The Even though I'm sure there'll be girls there. I don't know. The grill. Isn't that right? Yeah. So the boys are heading off to the grill to go get some Argentinian food. Is that right, guys? From Argentina? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Now are you going to the grill or to the girl? The grill. Yeah. All right, boys, go have fun. Okay, be safe. So Atlanta's going on a sick little bike. Kirby and Asher heading on their pro scooters. Off they go. Even if we wanted to come back with our food, we could put it in here. Uh. Okay, an extra little benefit of your bike, Landon. You've got an entire basket in the back to bring back your food. Yep. Okay, so Ava and I have worked tirelessly, you guys, to finish planting these flowers. So we're gonna give you a little sneak peek. We're also gonna test the sprinklers because there's certain dead spots here on our lawn and some of the dirt's really, really dry, which tells us what, Ava? There's no water getting to it. I'm thirsty! So, every man's job is to test the sprinklers at their home. So, today, my little helper and I are gonna test the sprinklers. <laughs> All right, Peanut, let's show everyone what an amazing job we did. Are you ready? Okay, go ahead, show them. Get this red one, get this purple one, pink one, red one. Oh, so pretty. Okay, come show them this one over here. Hey guys, quick disclaimer here. It's not done yet, because obviously we need to put more dirt in, but we did plant all these beautiful flowers. These are lilies. Yes, I know what lilies are. Annabelle, why are you walking my flowers, you ding? So we got more lilies. Okay. And then because we tore out that bush the other day, it left some room for some other nice flowers. We also fixed the sprinklers as we talked about. So there you have it, folks. A Saturday dedicated to yard work for this little girl for her sixth birthday party. Ava, what does dad get for working so hard to make the yard ready? Nothing. What? Come on. Yes, my girl. Hello, everybody. I'm so sorry if you've missed me not being on the camera today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have been party prepping. Justin has been working so hard. The yard, planting flowers with Ava. I've been cleaning the house and running to go pick up some stuff, including somebody's birthday cake for tomorrow. We're having a couple different parties. Justin told you this, but this is the cake for tomorrow's family party, and it's pretty cute. We got some cake, we got some bars, and we got some cake bites and some cookies. It's gonna be a sugar overload, but that's what you do when somebody is as sweet as this little girl over here. Okay, Ava, you can look. What do you think? I love it. It has an ice right cream cone on the like top. A, that looks like real ice cream. We, no, better, no, 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 no. we better put it in the freezer. It's going to melt. Good one. I'm teasing <laughs> you. <laughs> Ava, remind me how old you're turning. Um, 
Okay, good, I got the right balloon. I was kind of worried that I didn't remember. And we got stars because stars are gymnastics. Ava's having a big gymnastics party on Tuesday with all her friends. Look how cute, aren't those so cute? Oh, yeah. Dad, is that just screaming gymnastics or what? Does that just make you want to do a cartwheel, Justin? Makes you want to do a backflip. <laughs> Up. Let's open, make sure. Is this a sample box? <laughs> these are the cake bites. Ooh, I like Little these. sampler. Wait, is it a sampler for real? Well, just different flavors, yes. Wait, so we can eat these? Tomorrow at the party, yes. Lame. We've got some yummy bars. These are like a salted I caramel. I love these ones. And, Don't touch them. and those are like a sugar cookie bar. Those ones look so good. All the sweets for the sweetest girl in the world. Hey, right here, there's one more box. You wanna see what's in here? Yeah. This is gonna be Dad's favorite. Oh, good. <laughs> right, you guys, we just cooked up, nada. No, Justin just cooked up the most delicious dinner. So simple. Just some avocado toast. Honestly, probably the best avocado toast I've had in a really long time. Justin and I are on a little bit of a kick lately of trying to clean up what we're eating. As you know, we're always pretty health conscious. We really love clean food, but lately I personally haven't been feeling super great. So, trying to cut out any of the processed stuff and some of the sugar that I was eating. Meals come a little bit easier, but snacks can be harder to come by when you're looking for a good clean snack. So I've got a new favorite snack I wanna share with you guys. It's called Love Good Fats. I'd never tried it before. We've got three different flavors here. I was just doing a little taste test to see what flavors I liked best. Cause we've got salted caramel, peanut chocolatey, dark chocolatey sea salt and almond. This one might be my favorite, but if I'm being totally fair and honest, I really did love all of them. They're a really yummy snack. Super high in protein, pretty low in net carbs, made with super clean ingredients, and yummy. So it's a total win. Guys, will you comment if you think Lindsay looks like the little girl from the Little House in the Prairies, that was called? <laughs> <laughs> Is this how I wear my hair at night? I don't know, but. So that it stays curly, have it. So that it stays curly in the morning. I have some more. Keeps it from getting tangled. May I have some more? You guys, major shout out to Brandon and Mindy from This Is How Bingham and the entire Bingham clan who took Landon out for sushi today. They Spoiled him. They really did. Guys, we weren't there, so we didn't do much, but Brandon and Minnie did. So if you have not seen that video, please go over and check it out because they really did take good care of that little man. Brandon just loves the fine things in life. <laughs> and sushi is one of those. They were ordering appetizers, whatever sushi roll he wanted. They took him to dessert afterwards. He was weren't so spoiled. Sub zero. Guys, as you saw, major party planning for Ava's birthday, which is coming up in a couple. So. The flowers look amazing. Thank you very much. Ava As I planted the flowers all on my own, I feel I like that requires some sort of I am a lucky award. woman over here. Do you agree? I do really do think, I, mean, I don't know how many husbands are 100%. literally planting flowers on their own. Can we all just get a round of applause for Justin right now? <laughs> I think it helps when Lindsay's distracted because then she didn't micromanage my plant, my flower planting. You even asked me where the flowers should go and I said, I don't care wherever you want. No, honestly, I love that answer. It's amazing. Let so go. guys, you're going to want to come back for following videos to see Miss Ava's birthday because it's going to be epic. And make sure you come back tomorrow. We are getting together with extended family. You know what happens when we get together with family. It is just straight, epic, amazing, hilarious awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be ha some of my family. Is Brandon closing this video? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be some of my family, some of his family. We're gonna be playing some awesome games. Come back tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brandon and Ian. <laughs> guys, subscribe down below. You're amazing. Smash the like button. See you guys. And see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Hello everybody! It is Sunday over here and you know that we don't normally video on Sundays, but we wanted to document Ava's family birthday party today. We are in full party prep mode over here. We're having everyone over for dessert and games. So we've got cake, we've got cookies, we've got cookie bars, and Ava and I are making little drink cups. We're gonna do strawberry milk, chocolate milk, and regular milk, and we are dipping while Ava's dipping her finger in the whipped cream. So we are taking these glass milk bottles, dipping them in the whipped cream, and then what do we do next, Ava? Dip it in the sprinkles. Look how cute these are. So we're gonna put all different kinds of milk in these bottles, stick a straw in it. It's the perfect drink for all of our treats, for our little dessert bar, for our cute little six-year-old who we love so, so much. Well, you keep saying, stop rolling, but I can't stop. You can't stop? I know, I wish I could make it stop, but I can't. Ta-da! 
Perfecto. Perfecto too. That's Look at that. Perfect aim. I love that. Yeah, they got, they've got to be filled up to the same height though, honey. Details. You're a slacker. Mm. Details. I cannot put those out together. Dang it. So good on the first one. All right, family is arriving. We just found out that Daniel and Michelle are going to be coming. We thought they were still in Lake Powell, but they are not, so we are so excited. We are doing something. I was trying to think of some backyard games and I thought it would be so fun. For those of you who have been here for a long time, you might remember Ava's birthday two years ago. We weren't vlogging yet, but Jared and Britt vlogged it, where we played some games. Ryler and Turin wore shower caps with shaving cream on it and we threw Cheetos at their shower caps. We did a human ring toss where Ava and Hazel stood there and we threw inner tubes over them and then we had all the kids blindfolded doing Ava and Hazel's makeup. So I thought it would be really fun to replay the exact same games and watch side by side two years ago and now and see how much everybody has grown up. But what's fun is this year we have an extra little girl. My cute little niece Penny is here. She didn't live here two years ago. So we're gonna have three cute little girls for these games, but we're all geared up. We've got all the supplies for these fun backyard games. We went super easy for desserts this year. We ordered a beautiful cake, some cookie bars, and some cookies from the Sweet Tooth Fairy. Everything looks so delicious. I'm gonna go show you guys the dessert table. No one yet. Hey, you better go make it. Make your hands go. Man, we've got a group of athletes here. Tremendous effort. <laughs> Justin, Brexy needs that. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you knocked him down. Yeah, Ava, watch out. Ava, watch out. Oh, he's watch coming back right. up. There you go, straight up. Yeah. Pile. Look at that. Try and run. Ready, set, go. <laughs> 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 Justin! Oh, Ava, I want to see you walking around in these. Wait, Ava, not yet. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know if she's going to be able to see. <laughs> bye bye, Ava. Nice oh, knowing you. Turns very concerned about messing up his precious lock. No, I'm not. I didn't say that. You look like a lunch lady, sir. I know how you get like I'm sloppy. Ava, I want some more. Ava, hurry. Go put some on the table. No, don't. Hey, 
Oh my gosh. Have you seen our rig? Yeah, well, you guys are professionals though. I think it's true. So, that might need a little shake. Tommy, how do you shake and cream over? I'm a professional. Yeah. Tommy's have worn this whole pants. time. Where were you like five minutes ago? Don't they look like old women in the salon? It's a nice term you got there, buddy. You gotta stay behind the behind the Cheeto line. Yeah, just throw one Cheeto behind the line. Should we do like a time limit or what should we do? Yeah, if I get one. Throw that apart. Good job. Come on, guys. Come on. Right, guys, protecting his face. <laughs> you doing okay under there? Yeah. How are you doing over here, Turbo? Oh, good job! All right. <laughs> he can't even see me. Okay, this is the makeup game. We are going to make these girlies so beautiful and the rules are no poking, no jabbing, and no clown makeup. Well, borderline clown makeup. Okay, so you boys first get to do, well you can choose. Do you wanna do eyeshadow, lipstick, or mascara? Lip lipstick. Okay, done. <laughs> All right. What are we doing on the girls? <laughs> can you keep it? Yeah, you can keep it. Yep. <laughs> can I keep this kind of makeup? Girl, you're like, it got in my eyeballs. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. Tell her to open her mouth a little bit. Penny, go like this. Your lips. Are you getting your makeup done by Rexy? That'd be horrible. <laughs> This isn't as like dark as I was hoping it would be. So beautiful. She got you got your nose. Is he open them. Open your eyes. Guys, it's an upper down on that Oh wow, Daddy, really good. Oh, hey, so far I love it. Grand, this is how you do it, bro. You're going down. <laughs> Painting like fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I think that's perfect. No, Hazel, it looks so beautiful. <laughs> perfect. Daniel's like actually a perfectionist. Oh my gosh, of course he is. And of course Daniel is just doing perfection over here. We wouldn't expect anything less from you, Daniel. <laughs> Penny's just in heaven. She's like, why don't we do this more often, Mom? I need him to come to my dance picture date. Yeah, he'll be great. Honestly, he would be better than me. Ava's face. What's funny, Ava legit. Ava, you're the face. Ava, show us your sassiest face. Birthday girl. Birthday girl. Ava, give me one of these. How's it going, Ash? <laughs> <laughs> All right, these boys are gonna do some eyeshadow and some blush. Put it right here on her cheek. Good job, Lando. A little lower. Penny, you got lucky. Those other boys yeah, aren't trying to make it pretty like Lando. Here we go. And do the other side. Oh, right, guys. I like the metallic we got going on over here. This actually is what we had last time. Sparkly wins pretty and easy. Ooh, you're gonna like the glitter, Ava. Oh, that's really good. I'm doing pink on the other side. 
Atiye Bafo. Oh, so gorgeous. Let me see you, Penny. Oh, so beautiful. I want to give her a unibrow, can I? Smile. <laughs> smile, Lindsay. Girl. Smile like you're happy. Look at Lindsay's smile. Ready? You ready? What do you think? <laughs> Give me makeup. You gotta you do it better. It? Yep, she knows how to do it. <laughs> Alright, Ava, do you wanna see what you look like? Oh, no, and Mindy's done. gonna show you. I gave you a unibrow. Oh, wow. <laughs> you sure did. Alright, Penny, do you wanna see what you look like? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, just how I like it. <laughs> Are you guys getting them back? <laughs> oh, that's beautiful, Ava. <laughs> He's just laughing. Best friends forever. <laughs> Justin, you look really pretty with mascara on. <laughs> hey, that's not my lips. <laughs> I don't know why I agree to this. I have a feeling Hazy helped pick this out. What? Hazy drew for crush? <gasps> what is that? Oh, yeah, yeah, Stop yeah. a color reveal. Ava, what do you say? <gasps> oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That is the coolest backpack I've ever seen. <gasps> There's stuff inside? Kinder Joys are your favorite. <gasps> Cute barrettes for your hair. Cute tissue paper. Oh my gosh, Ava, you better give them some pretty big hugs. <laughs> oh my gosh, is that the cutest? Give Hazy a hug too! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm dying. This is the next one. Who's that one from? Michelle. Michelle and Daniel. <gasps> Do we love Sour Patch watermelons? They're our favorite. Can you go give them hugs? That's so nice. Happy birthday, I love you, I love you, I love you. Love you, Daniel. They say it's your birthday. So happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. ya. <laughs> oh, cringy, my parents are so... We woke up this morning and she was six. Just like that, turned six. Guess what though, she slept in our bed last night and it was awesome. Uh, last night as a five-year-old. Last night as a five-year-old, she slept in our bed until she had the Jimmy legs and kicked me and then I put her on the ground. <laughs> Wait, for real? <laughs> Wait, for real? <laughs> Ava May, happy birthday, girl. Can you believe you're six years old? You look older today. Six, 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 six. Guys, we have a packed day full of fun that honestly we can't decide all that we want to do. Oh, we have been. So we have, we have been deliberating back and forth on what to do. Whether it's water park and boating, just a water park and hang out. Whether we do donuts or French toast or pancakes or eggs or we pizza or decide. burgers or That's all it. you're doing right now is making me hungry. The world is our oyster, which Ava would not understand what that means. So guys, we want you to come along with us today on a very, very special sixth birthday. Now, as you know, today is Memorial Day, but it is also Ava's birthday. We are so excited. We are going to tell her that everywhere we go, the crowds of people people are actually gathering for her today. <laughs> One big giant birthday party. So here's the plan. Presents, breakfast, water park, boating, dinner. Maybe boating. Maybe somewhere boating. Somewhere in there we're gonna have to have some cake, I think. And somewhere they're gonna have some cake. We're gonna see if we can pack it all in. Regardless, come along with us. Happy birthday, Ava. Let's do it. Okay, we've got everything set up for Ava's birthday. She wanted a gymnastics mat and a gymnastics bar so bad. We've got it all set up in the front yard. She's going to flip. We're so excited. Is there a birthday girl in here? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. 
No, I don't think she's here anymore. Oh, there she is. Listen, so there's something on the outside. I don't know what it is. You wanna go look? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, all right. Hold up, let's make sure everyone's ready. There's a bee up there. There's a bee up there? On your birthday? You like jazz? Okay, hold up, hold up. Okay, close your eyes, keep them closed. Help me. Liz, are we ready? Help I'll guide me. you. Okay, don't look yet, don't look. Not yet. Okay, step, step. Oh, 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 step, step, there we go. And ready, one, two, three, open your eyes. Wait, what? <laughs> what do you think? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling you're going to be doing a lot of cartwheels today. You got to try your bar first. Yeah! <laughs> Do you love it? Yes. Can you open Yes, go ahead. Look at this little girl. She's not wasting any time. Helmet. Your helmet, but for what? What are you going to use that for? You better check the second bag. What? What's in there, do you think? <gasps> Those are the cutest roller skates ever. You're gonna do so awesome. What do you say? Yeah, let's make sure there's two. Oh, phew, there's two. <sighs> oh my goodness. I love you. Love you, love you. Girlie, my little peanut. All right, let's see all your gymnastics tricks. <laughs> oh my goodness, girl. I used to do this all the time when I was in elementary. Now she's ready to do some gymnastics. Whoa, one foot. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at her showing off her <laughs> tricks, I love it. Okay, show us some cartwheels. We got a birthday breakfast for our birthday girl. Unlimited French toast. Yes, you heard that right. You can order unlimited refills. Turbo also got the French toast. Landon and Ashton got their very favorite sausage, egg, and cheese croissant. It is the best at Neaters. And Dad and I got some egg white omelets over here. Let the birthday festivities continue. to go today. Cowabunga Bay! We are here with all the water slides and all the lazy rivers. And we are going to do anyone. <laughs> to it. Let that be flat. And it's going to be so much fun. Turbo! Hey, wait for us! Here we go! Yeah, we got to go through this. Look. Land out! Go to the side! To the side! Keep going! <laughs> you did it! Hurry, Lynn! Hurry, Mama! Wow, that was like ninja move! You're a ninja? Get out of here! You're a ninja! Okay, Tur, where are we going? <laughs> Ava, where are we going? You decide! I am here! Okay, let's go this way! Oh, Ava, what do you think, girl? Are you cold? Is it so cold? Yeah, is it your birthday though? So all the birthday wishes from around the world are warming you up? Yeah. Mm. Can I go with you on the slide? Or you wanna go by yourself? I'm gonna go with you. Okay.
Birthday. Everyone alone, thank you all for coming. Appreciate you guys coming from Emma's birthday party. I hey, appreciate it, brother. You're the man. Guys, thank you. Thank you for being here. You have a lot of friends. <laughs> a lot of friends. We are currently in the Lazy River, and the water temperature is probably 20 degrees higher than those water slides. It's almost a hot tub in here. Happy hey, birthday, girl. There she is. Did you tell everyone it's your birthday? Did you tell them? Did you tell them? Did you tell everyone? Every time you pass someone, say, hey, it's my birthday. So happy birthday to me. So they just blew the whistles. We're headed out here. Ava actually can't get enough. Guys, I'll tell you right now, firsthand, these slides, they kind of hurt your back. I would say that my back is pretty red right now. Ava, did you have fun today? Yes. Yes? Okay, tell everyone where we're going now for dinner. See, it's your choice. In and out, guys. Simple as can be, Miss Ava, in and out. And we just learned about a new burger style in and out. I guess a new way of getting your burger prepared called 
Dutch John. So we're gonna go try some burgers, try some fries, and try some milkshakes. Mm. Happy birthday. Whose birthday is it? No. Woo! Raise your hand if it's your birthday. <laughs> A few minutes later. But well, we are home, and as you just saw, Ava, well, she fell asleep. We had a really fun day in the sun, and I asked her on the way home from dinner where she wanted to go for dessert. She said, I just want to go home. She just want to go home. Five <laughs> minutes later, she was out. She was sitting in the back seat, and her mouth was open. That's when you know, like... And she had a burger just, in her hand, too. Uh-huh. The October <laughs> burger. That's when you know they're out cold when their mouth's just open. And I think we were actually going to try to fit boating in today as well. Very glad we did not do that, even though we love to boat. Today was really just a day dedicated to her. Oh, my gosh. It was it was, so fun. it was just fun. Anything she wanted to do, that's what we did. She so wanted we, to play on her gymnastics so we mat. On the gymnastics for a mat. long time this morning, she loved it. Yeah, we roller skated for a bit there, which we didn't really video. We'll show more of that tomorrow. Calvunga Bay, and she got cotton candy ice cream. She chose In and Out. Chose In and Out for dinner. Like that today was just kind of her day, so it my was favorite, kind of fun. My favorite part is every single place that we went. She kept turning to me and saying, "Mom, you forgot to tell him it's my birthday." Everywhere. She we're wanted at. me to tell everyone. Everywhere. Like this snack shack. She was like, you have to tell him it's my birthday. And I was like, okay, I'll tell him. And the entire day we kept saying, raise your hand if it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> She's See, so fun. She's still little. Six. She's still little. We got time, Lindsay. We got time. Just a little bit. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us today on Ava's birthday. Thanks for being a part of it. Thanks for those that joined the live as yes. well on Sunday and wish so many happy birthdays. Thanks for all your comments on today's video. Wishing her happy birthday. You guys are amazing. If you are not subscribed, be sure to do so. Also, follow us on Instagram. This guy right here posts a lot of awesome stuff on Instagram. Stories, posts, etc. You gotta check those out because those are more up-to-date, in-the-moment activities that we're finding ourselves in. More birthday celebrations to come. Tomorrow is the friend birthday party, so come back for that. And, well, good night, everybody. All right, everybody, welcome back to a very special day, a very special vlog. Guys, today is Ava's friend birthday party. So it's gonna be a ton of fun. Lindsay's gonna go all out, which she always does for birthday parties. This year, Ava wants a gymnastics birthday themed party. So Lindsay and I, and actually Ava, has really stepped up to the plate and helped prepare for her birthday today. We are very busy. I took the day off of work today to help get this party ready to go. We've mowed the lawn, we've edged the lawn, okay? We've weeded the flower beds, we've ordered pizza. Pizza, pizza. we're all chanting Hot pizza. pizza. So now at this point, we're just waiting for guests to arrive, okay? Guys, if you are new to our channel, welcome to our channel. Channel. Be sure to subscribe down below. Smash the like button for Ava's birthday if you would. Guys, it's party time. People are here. Better subscribe. <laughs> you're gonna get pitted by a backwater spider. Spider? Already think you know your number line up. One's right here. Don't let go. <laughs> Good job, Penny. Good job, Penny. All right, Hazel, jump in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Reese, your turn, Reese. Oh my oh, God, Reese. This guy, your turn. <laughs> Woo! Do it again. Do it again, Eva. Oh Let's see if we can go faster this time. Good job, Penny! Good job, Ariel! Good job, Hazy! You have to move fast! Alright, let's see how fast you go. On your mark. Get set. Go! Okay, go! Oh, that was fast! Woo! Go fast, Penny! Go fast, Penny! 
Liz, why don't you show them? Show them. Well, I'll show it with Ava. Yeah. We're gonna really heavy. Heavy. But you can't lose any though. Yeah. So show them. Okay, go forward and then backwards. <laughs> okay, I'll come back. Ava, <laughs> now we're gonna do it for real. Go. Oh my god, Ava, be careful. Okay, now put him on Timmy. <laughs> Oh my god! Stay right there. Stay right there. Okay, go Quinny! Good job, Quinny! Woohoo! Good job, Quinny! Good job, Reese! On top. Now run! Oh my gosh, Sky, you're good at this. I am so good. We'll have to do less tubes. No, we can do one less for Reese. No, we're gonna have put them all on Reese. She wants them all, don't you? Yeah. Uh, Reese. Yeah. Reese is a big girl. She is, yeah. Ready? Whoa! Let's go. Woo! Good job, Reese. Good job, Reese. Woo! Good job, Reese. Good job, Reese. Good job, Reese. Good job, Reese. Good Good job, Good job, Reese. Good job, Reese. Good Go, 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 go. Good job, Penny! Ready, set, go! go. Okay, she go. goes! <laughs> go, Penny, go! Yay, Penny! Good job! Go! Go, 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 go! <laughs> Go! Let go though, Hazel. Don't let go. <laughs> Running start, I think. Yeah, no, no, no. This one. You know, do it again, but get a running start. Oh, 
Dad over here. As you can tell from the music, I have been deemed DJ of this party. DJ it's amazing how easily entertained these kids are. We debated whether we should go to a gymnastics place, whether we should go to a bounce house. We ended up just keeping it simple, doing something in the backyard, and they're as entertained as you can possibly imagine right now. So let's go out there and check out. I think they're gonna start making bracelets. Let's go check that out real quick. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ava. Happy birthday to you. Ooh la la, hot lava. Stick your hands in hot lava. Are you thinking about your wish? Then I get a pack of ice. Eat more chicken. Make a wish. Think of it carefully. No boys. Woo! Yeah. Alright, who wants a piece of cake? Yeah. yeah! This present is from Quanny and Reese too? What is this? Oh, okay. Quanny and Reese. Oh, yeah. Yum! Yeah. Jojo Siwa makeup? Wait, sticky nails? Oh, sticky nails, lipstick, nail yeah, polish, nail oh, fake nails. Oh my gosh, everything that you love. I always You get to decorate no that. No way. What do you tell your friends? Oh, she has one more. Have you ever heard of a cry baby? Yeah. It's so sour, it makes you cry. You want a piece of cake? <laughs> <laughs> I think it doesn't work right now. Oh, those. I remember oh my when gosh. Me and Reese went to the store and we got these. These are like my favorite oh, goggles on the then, planet. And then we forgot it, remember? Steph, look at these. They have eyelashes. I love these! Thanks, guy! Oh my goodness, those look so fun! Oh, a unicorn float for a unicorn lover! What is that? I love these! Oh Hazel goodness, has them! No way! They're lipstick! No way, those are lip oils! Those are gonna be so fun! Can you put them on your lips? Yes! How's the cake? Good. Delicious, it's funfetti. Oh my goodness, paints too. Oh, look at all those colors. You're gonna have so much fun with that. Look what you missed. That is what your dreams are made of right there. This is my dreams are made of. 16 different glitter eyeshadows. What is that? Did you just call him Sean? I heard that. <laughs> Not Uncle Sean, he's Uncle Justin. Is this? Do you have this? Oh, that yeah. is such a cool Barbie. This. Who's that from? Um, Can you say thank you? Oh my goodness, can you get over here? Did you bring Ava a present? Let's see it. Oh, what is it? Oh my goodness, Ava. That's like an arts and crafts where you get to use diamonds. Does that look I don't so want to do this. Can you say thank you and give her hugs, Ava Mae? Thank you, Penny. Rolling. What a day. Holy cow. What a weekend. We Ava May, would you say that this is the best birthday you've ever had in the six years of your life? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I got this for my birthday and I love it. I love Dad it. Dad has it. 
I will say that she passed on an opportunity to go to the gas station right now with our good friend Chris Henneman and it's because she wanted to stay and play with her toys. You guys, the birthday party turned out so fun. Yeah, it really did. Lindsay did a good job. He did. <laughs> we just played a bunch of cute little games. We gave them these little twirlers. We gave them these little glasses and the way that they would just walk down the... Easily entertained, all of them. Very so easily entertained. So cute. Her little gymnastics thing and bar, like her little mat and her bar were all the entertainment we yep. needed. Speaking of, we actually need to bring that in the house. Turbo, will you help me bring that in the house? Yeah. Cutest little gymnastics birthday party. Ava knew she wanted it in the backyard, so we just played some cute games, made bracelets, had treats. She had the cutest little friend yeah, over. I hate you. I oh yeah, show me your bracelet. I love this bracelet. It's diamond. She has two. They're so beautiful. And guess what? I made one too. So show us on your ankle. I'll show you tomorrow. I didn't think. Oh, I did. It is on my ankle. Good thing, girl. Okay, look. It says Lindsay. Wow, that is some craftsmanship. I know. So cute, huh? Mm. Oh, the star. Not Lindsay plus J or Lindsay plus Justin or L plus J. Or nothing XOXO. like that. Nothing. Well, guys, listen. Thank you for just being a part of Ava's birthday the last couple days. You guys are incredible. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video because a couple of us are headed on a jet plane. Not telling you not where. Not a couple of us. Like more than half the family, actually. But we're not going to tell you who. We're so excited. Summer is here. Don't do Don't do Don't do <laughs> Guys, be sure to subscribe down below if you're new to our channel. Smash the like button and wish Ava a happy birthday. You've already done that, so thank you guys. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you guys, look at my happy birthday. Nice open day. Yay. Happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday. Hello, everybody. It's going to feel a little bit like deja vu as we start off this video today because we are at the orthodontist for child number three. To get an evaluation to find out if Landon needs braces and what exactly that's going to look like. First, we took Ashton, then we took Turin, and now it is Lando's turn. turn. <laughs> Ashton found out that he needs an expander and braces for 26 months. Turin needs braces for 15 months. So, Landon is anxiously awaiting how many months he's gonna have some metal on his teeth. Uh, yep. We told him all about the chocolate chip cookies. Nom, nom, oh, nom. Really, I'm just thinking about how we're gonna pay for three kids in braces at once. It's gonna be a little expensive, but it's my fault. I should have brought Turin in a couple of years ago, but he's my first. He has really straight teeth, and it really just didn't dawn on me until the dentist said something the last time we were at a dental checkup. So here we are, twins and older brother, all at the same time. said this chair was like sitting on pillows. He did? Yeah. Is it comfy? Yeah. Did you go to sleep in it? Need yeah. some popcorn in a movie? You don't have any baby teeth left? Oh. You just barely lost a tooth. That must have been your last that one. Well, Unless mean, there's one hiding right in the seat. Yeah. Lando, what does that mean? No Not a baby anymore? Yeah. You're a big, big kid? Yeah. Growing up so fast. That means no more tooth fairy either. Where's the tooth? It's a long and delightful story. <laughs> it is hard to smile. What do you mean it's hard to smile with all that? So <laughs> I'm going to have you open wide. It's going to be a bracket on each of those teeth. Yeah, you can touch them. So that's part of the living thing is the touching that's going to be in your mouth. That is the braces. So we don't put a bracket on that back tooth. We wait until you're almost ready to have braces off before we put a bracket on that back tooth. And then you'll get to wear some elastics. So that's what Dr. Arnold was talking about. What's that? So you see some of these brackets have hooks on them? Yeah. Oh, yeah, those rubber bands that he was talking about. Yes. That's exactly right. These rubber band things he was talking about. All right, we just finished up at the orthodontist and Lennon's pretty excited because he found out that not only does he not need to do an expander, but he only needs braces for 18 months. 18 months. Woo! Pretty short considering his identical twin Ashy needs braces for 26 months. So Lennon could not even wrap his head around it when he found out 18 months. He's like, wait, what? That's only a year and a half. <laughs> so good news, not bad at all. He's got his chocolate chip cookie. I actually got two. <laughs> he actually got two. She snuck him an extra one. Sweetest lady, such a great dentist. All around, we're happy over here. He's not on the schedule to get the, his braces until around the time school starts, unless they have a cancellation of some sort. But three kids and braces, here we come. Yep.
We've got mac and cheese on repeat over here. It is definitely the summer lunch of choice. It's so good though. Ashley's over here helping mix it. Money, money, money. <laughs> Those are dollar bills? Yeah. <laughs> All right, put the cheese in, Missy Lou. Nice and buttery, just how we like it. Chef Ava May over here. Got a few helpers. <laughs> We started doing some birthday shopping last night at the outlets for a bunch of family members who all have birthdays in the month of July. We only accomplished one of those birthdays. We just weren't finding what we were looking for. But today we are going to shop for cute little Hazy because her birthday party is on Saturday. And Ava decided yesterday that she wanted to get her toys over clothes. Because when you're a six year old little girl, that's what you want. So we're gonna head into Walmart to find her the perfect birthday present. Ava one of these color reveal Barbies for her birthday. I want to say you got her one of these last year, didn't you? A mermaid Barbie? Yeah. What is that? Um, it's a mystery doll. I think a mystery mermaid in there. Ooh, that looks fun. Should I get her? Should I say something else? Yeah, Ava, this cute sweatsuit from Zara. We're dying over it, but I'm also dying that she can't wait to wear it. So she's wearing it in 90 degree weather today. Is it a little hot, Ava? Yeah. No, not really. Do a little twirl. Okay, we've looked at a bunch of different Barbie options and right now this is the way that we're leaning. It's kind of a fun little summer carnival. Show them what's in it. So there's this little Barbie in this a little two little go kart, mm -hmm. and then on this side, show them what's on this side. Uh, kind of. so you put the Barbies in those purple seats, and then it spins. We're gonna walk up and down the aisle a couple times, see what else we've got. But this is what we're leaning towards right now. What are those? Princess finger puppets. Yeah. So cute. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ava decided on the Carnival Barbie set for Hazy. She's so excited to give that to her. We are ending the night tonight out at the lake. Justin's company went out for an activity on the lake today. Since the boat was already up here, we're just joining him for a couple of hours. And we invited my sister's family. They haven't been out on the boat with us yet. My niece Penny, last time that she came out on the boat last year, she was such a little daredevil. She would cry the entire time if she was not out on the water surfing with her daddy. So it will be interesting to see how she does this year. She cracks me up because she's the tiniest little thing, but she is as daring as they come. One, two, three! Whee! Oh, Penny, go, go, go! Penny, you want me to go? Go, Penny, Penny go! go! Penny, ready? You count to three. One, two, three. Oh, I'm falling, Penny! Whoa! One, two, three. Mom, Penny's go. funny sometimes. Is it cold, Penny? Is it cold? It's not cold, is it? Yeah. What's happening right now? Um, me and Penny are doing belly boarding. You're gonna show her how to belly board? Yeah. Penny, what do you think about that? Are you gonna do it? Yeah. She's gonna be so brave yeah. like your cousin Ava. Yeah. <laughs> 
Guys, we took the entire opinion crew, well, half the opinion crew out on the boats today. So Devin, my business partner, has got a boat. I've got a boat. So we had about 16 people piled in two different boats. But that was about half the company. And uh, it was fun. Good old time. So instead of pulling off the lake, I just thought, this girl would come meet me. Just in case you guys are wondering, we do live at the lake in the summer. <laughs> we are there multiple times a week. I don't think we've met a family that goes more often than we do. If we have any extra time outside of when Justin's working, that's where we usually are. Another beautiful night on the lake tonight. So fun. My sister tried getting up on the surfboard for the first time. So fun for us to be with cousins. One thing that was super cool to watch tonight was when Justin was surfing with Landon, he kind of let him hold on to the rope and let him feel what it would feel like to surf by himself. He honestly was doing the whole thing by himself. He was holding onto the rope, he was standing, and then he actually was learning how to carve up and down the wave. So anyway, it was really cool. My sister and I were a little bit teary from where we were sitting on the boat. Lando's pretty excited about having two kinds of braces. He says, I'm gonna have braces in my mouth and I'm gonna have braces on my legs. <laughs> So make sure you smash the like button for Lando getting braces for all three of my boys getting braces. I think it's only appropriate if Justin gets braces at the same time then all the boys in our family have them at the same time. <laughs> he actually didn't get braces as a kid. His teeth are very, very straight as well, but he's considered it. His bottom teeth could use some straightening. So we'll see. Stay tuned for all of the fun coming. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for all of your support. We love you guys and we'll see you tomorrow.